Well, hello guys, hello, welcome in. <laughs> We're starting right on the drawing screen. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go today. Actually, I need to, I need to open up my, I need to open up my, my screen before we start. I'm ready to go. How's it going? How's the, oh, oh, have, have you guys, have you guys ever watched the Red Green Show? I know, Mr. Frank Goodlurch, I know you said, hey, green and red, as an accident, but it reminded me. Reminded me of that show. It's, it's... For a long time, I kind of forgot about it, and then, uh, somebody mentioned it again on, like, a YouTube video or something, I was like, oh, I remember that! Good times, good times. There we are. Behold, I have actually, uh... Uh, I've done some preparing for stream, so I could just jump right into the drawing aspect. It's gonna- this one's gonna be a pretty quick VOD cover, and then... Mm, I don't know what I'm gonna do after. Maybe more drawing? I don't know. I, I have no clue. I have no clue. But I, I didn't want to, like, say we're gonna start a new game today, because, like, that's not- that's not a good plan. I want to wrap things up before before I um, turn into mist form for what two three weeks, three four weeks. <laughs> you only know red versus blue. Red versus blue. Red versus blue. Maybe red green was like Canadian. Red green show. Yeah 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 Canadian. <laughs> It played- it played in other countries! It, it played on, like, PBS and shit. PBS is American, right? But yeah, yeah, it was- it, it, it was Canadian. It was Canadian! Am I gonna make the Goofy the Soul King? Uh, absol- I'm making- I'm making this alligator right here. This alligator right here, me. I went into the game this morning, and I took a whole bunch of screenshots, and I slapped them all together until we had an empty train background, and I got the, the logo, and then I got a picture of little man right here, on the bench, that I could use as a reference. I'm so prepared. I'm so prepared! Also, hey, Arclodos, how- hey, oh, I- 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 I didn't- I didn't do my- my haze. Hey, Green. Hey, Frankenlurch. Hey, Arclodos. Hey, Lapis. Hey, Rex. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. I can't believe it. It shows how easy it is to slip up. You think you're doing so well. And then the ball's on the ground. Let me... I just want to make it so this is like... There we go, there we go. It's, it's like... <laughs> Clearly demark the layers for reference. And then clean, clean the... Uh, clean it up like that. Yeah! The one thing I have to do is figure out a brush. It's probably not going to be as difficult as I... Some nervous damage. All right, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. See, I need this break, you guys. My body's dying. My body is shutting down. You might think it's ha ha ha. Goofy can't uh, can't control their nerves. Little funny brain damage moment. No, that's actually what it looks like when I'm reaching the end of my cycle and I gotta find a new body to inhabit. What does a gum creature even do on Vakay? Uh, I'm gonna draw a lot. And I'm gonna... Um... Go to a museum. And... I'm gonna... Play... Dungeons and Dragons. And... If you see somebody at TwitchCon who says they're me, it's not me. It's not me. I don't go to TwitchCon. 
I didn't even realize it was the same weekend. I'm gonna be doing very, <laughs> very fucking boring things. <laughs> very boring things, very uncool. Sounds like a great time. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. I'm not gonna be sick. It's gonna be super fun. It's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep in. I'm gonna just laugh the day away for, for days on end. I'm not gonna lose my voice. Also, hello, frosting. Hello, frosting. Welcome in. I think, I think I've forgotten how to drink water. I keep, it, the last like three times I've redeemed a moisturize and twice today before stream, I spilled water all over myself. How, how, how do you, how do you drink water? How, how far, how, how far do you tilt the glass? What part of your face do you press it against? You know, it's like, it's like riding a bike. You use it you, or you lose it. Incredibly, incredibly tragic drinking problem. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Through the skin, you say? Ah, maybe that's the problem. I've been pouring it all over my shirt, but I need to, uh, like, pour it all over my neck. That'd be, that'd be pretty cold. I don't know about that. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. I'm not comfortable with that. Your ball has a straw. Intelligent. Intelligent. Intellectual. Large cranium. But not lazy, because la lazy, it's like, you gotta wash the straw, right? That's another element. If you drink, like, I, I guess the most efficient way of drinking would be directly from, like, the gutter. You know, you don't have to wash anything after. Just go outside, find, like, a garbage can where somebody's left the lid open, bend in, take a few sippy zips. That seems like, like, the most, uh, practical, mm, intelligent solution for the big brains. Everything else, everything else is just being a sucker. Just different levels of the sucker. Bowing to the man's demands that you wash things. And you, you, uh, you pay for stuff like having water in your building. You, uh, you worry about fake diseases that you can get, quote unquote, from drinking unfiltered water. <laughs> Whatever. Sure. Uh-huh. If there are worms in my water, why can't I see them, huh? Sounds like a lie to me. I love drawing circle. Until a circle looks like circle. Just 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 over and over and over and over and over again. <laughs> Drink garbage water. Yeah, it's like um all natural, you know, it's never any um chemicals put in it by big water. That way you know you're not being influenced. And you'll note it, you'll, you'll, you'll see it happening pretty quickly. After three weeks of drinking nothing but garbage water, I guarantee you'll spend less time watching people on Twitch and you won't even miss it. You won't even want to go on X. You won't even want to spend hours on various parts of the internet. You'll just go directly to talking to your wall and you'll real realize that you don't need, you don't need other people. You don't need the influence of advertisements controlling your life. Wait, wait, why has he got that little bump? What's, what's with that little bump right there? I'll keep it in. 
Enough complaining. No gay frog chemicals. Exactly. Exactly. You'll transcend. You love that little dude. This is this is my favorite bus ride passenger from the entire game. And I feel like I've seen them all now because I had to load it back up and take like 20 different screenshots to be able to get the rest of this bus to be uh, passenger free and to be able to get the uh, the empty version as well. So this morning I got a, a lot of views of different alligators transitioning around New Alligator York City. New Alligator York City? New York Alligator City? Alligator New York City? One of the f three. Take your pick! You like procrastinating while watching people art and play? That's cause of the water! It's cause of the water! Real chads can just hallucinate their own distractions, summon it directly from inside their own minds. I was gonna say next. I, I, yeah, no, that it clearly it went clear out of my fucking head. Ah. Oh well, who needs to remember words? See, having a functioning memory is also another disgusting side effect of drinking, um, corrupted water rather than pure natural source water. I've moved past that. Can Goofy Gator be a future emote? I am living in constant cycles of remembering that I haven't filled all my emote slots. Having these like waves of of <laughs> like <laughs> why, why why the fuck haven't you done that yet? What's wrong with you? Why why <laughs> how 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 have you not finished that? You should finish those right away. And like telling myself, oh yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add all the rest of the emotes. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. And then just forgetting it and being blissful and free and pure and empty. Also, hey, creator program, welcome in, welcome in. Psych, what is your stream title? I'm going on vacation! <laughs> Don't worry, I've never graduated from a in single educational institution in my entire life. I'm not about to start now. Goofy has zero diplomas. Just plans to go on a trip. Is it scary, though? Is it a scary title? Is you other VTubers when they graduate these days be like, No, I'm coming back, don't worry about it! Daddy's coming right back from the store with some milk in the... <laughs> Sometime, bye! Bye! <laughs> oh no. Well, my apologies, but don't worry. I have zero diplomas. This is the pumpkin egg ferret meme. The what? <laughs> the what? You've had more randomly dropped to come back six months or a year later for a little while. Well, it's nice they came back. It's nice they came back. I understand a lot of VTubers, they start... Well, obviously, a lot of them start while they're in college. Hence why they graduate. And then after, it's like, oh shit, oh shit. This actually doesn't uh, work with my schedule now that I'm no longer studying. But me, my life is very, 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 incredibly, incredibly stable. I love a boring life. I love a life where every day is exactly the same. So I don't have to worry about that. No fears. I'll be back in four years. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be the best thing when I come back and everybody's gonna be like, oh, a new VTuber who's a clown? Wow, I love that. That sounds so fun. 
let's go check out this and I'm gonna I'm gonna get like so many viewers I'm gonna get like so many viewers they're gonna come in and be like oh hi there new streamer oh 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 show us your classy and then we're gonna have to have the learning curve all over again <laughs> gonna have to chase weird horny chatters out with like a a broom with a cattle prod on the end that's okay though <laughs> Second time round, it's it's gonna be great. It's gonna be like a like a fresh adventure. Yeah. Don't I work day in and day out on weekdays? Yeah. Yeah. So I don't I don't I don't mind that. It's not bad. What's the problem with that? Having stability makes it less anxious. Yes. 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 I love stability. It's it's so poggers. It's so. 12 head pog champ uh, uh, um, uh, uh, twitch emote <laughs> you want to post a link to the link to the pumpkin egg ferret meme but you have a sense of fear that's good that's a good instinct to have uh let me can i remember how to stop people from being sniped um is it exclamation mark Herbit Honk Town Deluxe? Doesn't know. Is it uh Amper? Oh, good job! You didn't get murdered! That wasn't it though! <laughs> that wasn't it! It says when it's when you've when you've successfully been given the pass. But, uh, eh, I guess it's just sleep. I, I guess, I guess the trained specialists are sleeping right now. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, you dodged it. Good job! Good job! The long con. Exactly, exactly. Look, everybody loves a new streamer. They get excited when there's a new person in town. They come in like, oh! <gasps> Are you gonna solve all my problems? Are you gonna solve all my problems? And inevitably, something new comes along. They go over the new thing and they go, oh, are you gonna solve all my problems? Are you <laughs> it's the circle of life. Can everyone post links at the moment since Bot is sleeping? It might be asleep, or it might just be that I actually had Imager in the whitelist, and the whitelist is actually working today. One or the other. Let me let me do an attempt. Let me see. Um, no. Uh, how can I tell? How can I tell? Oh, um. I honestly forget what website the bot's from. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those fucking websites. I forget which. But I don't see it in... In my... In my, um... Um... Uh, uh, viewers list. Hide not present? Stream... Oh no, it's there! Okay, it's the stream elements bot. I don't know, I don't know why it's... I don't know why it's being the way it is. Alligator smiley face. Yes, the one thing I'm really sad about is I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hide the alligator snout. That's gonna be the saddest part of this drawing About to get banned from my own channel I'm very glad that's not a possibility because I probably would have done that by now Yeah, I, I <laughs> So it's, it's it's stream elements. Let me see here. Stream elements. The ultimate streamer platform. Did I did I disable? Did I I have several sponsorship opportunities right now, you guys! I could earn up to two thousand dollars from playing Fortnite! Uh actually not Fortnite. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds? No, they just use the player unknown character model, but it's not actually one of the sponsorships. Okay. 
I see how it is. I could play Star Trek Fleet Commander. I could play Ant Legion for the Swarm. I could play Puzzles and Survival. That's the most generic video game name I have ever heard. Puzzles and Survival. That sounds like a genre. Yeah, I'm not I'm not big enough for Raid Shadow Legends yet. I could play Marvel Strike Force. That's a name I actually recognize. I could play Call of Dragons. <gasps> oh, oh, I could play Warhammer 4000 Tacticus. What's like What's Warhammer's like What is it? What is it? Like success rate with good games? I feel like they've had a few, but it's like a majority of just like shit. Shit games. Garbage games. Oh, it's, it's, it's exclamation mark. But I did, I did exclamation mark permit. See, now, now it says that people can post. But I guess I just had, I just thought the whitelist finally worked. <laughs> Cause I have a whitelist. I got one where it's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's cool. It's cool. You can, um, you can post Imgur, you can post YouTube, you can post Twitch, you can post clips on Twitch, you can post, uh, Twitter, uh, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand. It's a mystery. I feel like... If... At least 80% of all the dishes that I'm trying to spin to keep this stream functional are in the air, that's a win, you know? That's a, a W. That's success. So if it's if it's stream elements that's not working, I can live with that. That's cool, that's fine. That's okay. People can just <laughs> live in fear of it not working, of it working, and then it's secretly just broken in the background and nobody realizes it. Less than seven. Yeah, yeah. I've I've heard of people who like like uh, certain Warhammer games, but it's like in spite of the actual performance of the game, in spite of the actual like end result. It's just like the the fantasy is so good, the the atmosphere is so correct. You know. The only one I can think of off the top of my head is, um... It's like the, the... The strategy game where you're... Oh, 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 my brain's flatlining. Hold! Uh, you're, you're part of... <sighs> The beep goop boop guys, the 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 smarty smarts, the the little the little tech priests, whatever their fucking factions called. Is it tech priests? And you're like fighting the necropolis guys, and it's like, what if you made um? I, I, I love talking about games where every- every single name is a fucking... 30 second struggle. Uh, I've beaten this stupid game and I don't remember its name. <laughs> it's probably somewhere in my Steam library, but I can't even remember the first letter of it. Uh, <laughs> What's it fucking called? What's it fucking called? What's it fucking called? Ooh. XCOM? Yeah, it's 
almost like if they remade XCOM, but with no, like, miss or hit percentage. And it's apparently, it's apparently pretty good. Pretty fun. Pretty good time. Trying playing Epic Four Play Final Liberation. What kind of game is that? That sounds very epic. That sounds very intense. Why do you get permitted? Oh, uh, I was trying to figure out how to get it permitted, and you were you were the one who asked if you can post links at the moment. So I was like, I'll use your name. <laughs> Simple as that. Simple as that. I didn't know who else to do because I don't think you can permit yourself. That's the only one I've heard of where it's like, this is just like a game that's successful in implementing all the mechanics and all the plans that it tried to do. And it's just a fun game through and through. And it's not gonna like blue screen your computer. <laughs> it's the one Warhammer game I know of. Uh, isn't there like, isn't, okay, well Vermintide's like, it's Warhammer, but it's not Warhammer 40k. I don't know if that counts in, like, whatever the fuck specifications were that I said before. The, the image is dancing with the music. Hours of fun! Hours of fun! Goofy, how do you entertain yourself when you don't watch Twitch? Just like that. Just like that. It's so easy. Roman Tide is Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I don't remember if I said, are there good Warhammer games or good Warhammer 40k games? And like, I haven't heard people complain about Vermin Tide. It's like, it got large, right? It actually got like a, like a user base beyond dedicated, like, I will play all the Warhammer games even if they suck players. Let's, come on, give me, last line, we can, we can do, we can, come on, just draw, just be straight, just be, just, 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 conservative parents be like, just be straight, just be straight. <laughs> Let me, uh, add some more stabilizer. Ooh, wait, let me lock this brush so I don't destroy it and add a lot more stabilization. There we are. That's, that's a little better. Is it? I don't, I don't think it is. Well, maybe I should go slower. There we are! He said the thing. Yep, yeah, yep! Yeah. Vermintide is first person so you would suffer. Yeah, yeah, I've never felt the desire to play Vermintide. I have felt the desire to play the, uh... Is it called Mechanicus? I think it might be Mechanicus. I think that might be the one that I was talking about where it's like the XCOM. Vibes one. But there's there's so many is I can't think of a single actually that's not true. I isn't aren't there like um Command and Conquer style Warhammer games? There's gotta be ones like that, right? Considering the genre. Obviously that that's you know those those games aren't aren't popular these days. They're dead. They're dead, which means that no AAA studio is spending their time making them. Didn't Microsoft do some recently? But it's like I'm sure there's got to be some older Warhammer games in that in that style. Dawn of War 1 to 3. There you go. There you go. I feel like they need to not not by not games workshop but like the gaming industry in general needs to go back and try that shit again see how successful it would be now like 
I feel like they're at a, there's like it, we're at a point right now where a lot of companies are like I don't I don't I don't know how to get money out of these stupid fucking gamers. I don't understand what they want. They keep complaining. They don't like our games. And then we got like Baldur's Gate 3 came out in a like quote unquote like dead genre and it did super well. So like this is this is the sign for the industry to give a sh give a shot at other so-called dead genres and like put like a big budget, big team, big studio into them. Obviously, having people in the studio who are actually experienced in it would be great. So maybe they can uh, do like a shady legal takeover of some small indie studio that specializes in those games. <laughs> Release one that's a hit and then immediately drive the studio into the ground and lay everyone off. No, just, just saying. I'm not asking for a miracle. I'm just asking for like the regular life cycle of the gaming industry. Chaos Gate is in the XCOM style. It's all about loot, but like loot boxes are dying, aren't they? Aren't we, um, as a society, regulating those? Isn't it like you can't you can't do loot boxes in Europe now? So all the big gaming companies are like, oh, fine. <laughs> Fine, no more loot boxes, jeez. Can't believe you guys. You're being so generous with them and everything. I thought that's a... A past evil, and they're trying to find the next one now. EA burned that genre except for like the ones with the bank income and incremental wealth. You don't even know how to describe it except Rise of the Nations. See, I've never heard of that. I don't... <laughs> what does wealth mean? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know about that at all. There's always a way to milk the whales. Of course, of course. But hopefully that can just um, sit in like skins for now as they try and think up a, a worse way to go that's not going to get them punished by Johnny Law, who's got his eye on them now. They're sitting across the table from him, nervously sweating, as he maintains this exact expression. <laughs> it's like we're right in the room. I also, I didn't, I didn't click on it, so I don't actually know how, what's in the article, but I saw an article recently that was talking about, like, how even mobile games are losing their market share. They're losing, they're not, they're not being the ultimate money makers anymore that, they're, they're, you know, shockingly enough, you can't have uh, infinite growth on them, which is weird because you can't seem to have infinite growth in any other other sector. The he, the entire collective consciousness of the Earth have, have uh, discovered by now, but it is possible, I'm sure. We just gotta keep trying. So, I guess people are even getting tired of, like, gotcha, which is, which is impressive because that's a disease. <laughs> you wouldn't think people could just stop having it. But apparently they do. Capitalism obligates infinite growth, how dare you? I know, I- look, I'm not saying it's not gonna happen. I'm just saying, gotta keep- gotta keep trying. Unfortunately, it looks like, uh, phone games are not the solution. Which, uh, really thought it would be. Really thought it would be. Where's- where's my circle ruler? Is it special ruler? Concentrics? Yeah, I think that's it. I hate- I love and I hate the rulers in Clip. I love the power of them, but I hate them because I don't understand a lot of times how to use that power. Like anything that people don't understand, I then fear it. 
like there's a perspective ruler, and I like read up a bunch of guides on how to use it. And I got work. <coughs> Excuse me, I got it working once or twice, and then I stopped using it. And now I've looked at it again. I'm like, I don't remember how that works. That looks so fucking complicated. Uh, uh -huh. and I can't get it working again. I gotta read the guide again. Don't want, don't want. You're infinite, but yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. We'll figure it out one day. Maybe, um... Oh! Oh, 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 uh, we can start making it so that you can't own your computer anymore. Or your phone. It's, uh, it's a rental. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't own your technology anymore. Um... Everything from the hard drive? Are there hard drives in phones? Everything, every element in it has to be rented out individually, and there's no storage space. It's all in the cloud. You can't buy physical storage anymore. Yeah, that sounds good. That sounds good. And uh, if we can, like, consolidate every single company, in the world into one so they can control like the absolute price of everything then they you know they can charge as much as they want for all that storage space infinite money baby I'm telling you i should be in charge of the government me or sorry <laughs> the government doesn't control the the capital the the companies it's the other way around i should be in charge of What's, the, like, the, the biggest company on the planet? Is it...? I don't know, I don't know, I'm even hearing that the, um, LVMH, which is, uh, the main company that owns most of the high fashion brands, whose owner is, like, mega, mega, big, big bucks, silly, silly, goofy, little funny rich, is even... Gas horror upon horrors, losing money. There's gotta be, there's gotta be somebody who's like laughing all the way to the bank right now. There's gotta be somebody. Amazon, really? Don't, don't, don't. Aren't they also like complaining because they're losing money? Maybe that's just their Twitch department. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just Twitch where they're like, oh. We can't capitalize on our streamers enough, guys. We're losing all our. Oh no, I gotta draw the other foot. Thought I could copy paste it. I thought I could copy paste it. I can understand though how they're making money um, on their AWS uh, services though, because it's garbage and I hate it. I, 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 we're having to uh, use AWS at the, the brain factory where I work right now. We're moving everything into the cloud for our new version of our product. Because the old one was extremely outdated and... Man, all of Apple's cloud-based server management software sucks. Passed out of Shrek's butthole with a silly straw. Yeah, it's not good. It's not good. I don't like it. <laughs> AWS Amazon Web Services. Yes, that's Amazon's cloud web everything services. It, it's it's the um, it's for if you don't want to have a physical service for your web application, you want to hand it to Amazon instead and watch Amazon just go fucking nuts chewing it to bit bits with its uh, spiky little teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amazon does that. Yeah, Amazon does that. Amazon has a really, really, really big uh, presence in web servers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're huge. There's four providers. <laughs> Honk down. You know your stuff. You know your stuff. <laughs> you you you're, you can be my uh, backup professor for today's lecture. Yeah, and we don't we don't uh, we're not <laughs> we're not using any of the others. We're using AWS. 
Tesla does? I don't think Tesla does that. I don't think Tesla does that. Wait, 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 wait. Tyson. Two decades ago. Is, is, is... Is Tyson... A soda company? Wikipedia says Walmart. Is... My, my brain cannot, like, comprehend Walmart being one of the big ones. But I suppose it's like, it's like a Hobby Lobby. Hobby, Hobby Lobby made all their millions and they had, they have the funds to import fake stolen artifacts, smuggle them into the United States. Like, they're, they're fucking rich off of, uh, selling packs of glitter, right? So it's like, as long as the market is steady and the markup is stupid, then anybody can become billionaires. What's higher than a billionaire? Zillionaire? Quajillionaire? Billionaire? But Meta was m losing money as well. I can see- I can see things like Alibaba making a lot of money. I can see that. But with like all the big tech companies that are like, No, 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 you guys don't understand. VR is a ma- it's- Ooh, we're gonna make so much money out of it. Everybody's gonna move into the cloud. Everybody's gonna move into the cloud. Nobody's gonna need feet anymore. It's gonna be great. <laughs> Any, any company like that, I'm like, you're, you're, you're losing money, aren't you? You're losing a whole lot of money. Wayland Yutani got bought, bought out by Walmart in the future. I can see it. I can see it. Walmart's got a larger customer base. Tyson is chicken to you. See, for me, Tyson is... Sportsman. I don't even know which. Wait, no, he's he's bo he's boxing. Is it Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson Punch Out? Is that boxing? I think it is. I, don't, I, don't, I have never I have never seen a sport li live in my entire life. To be quite honest with you guys, I think sport doesn't actually exist. Oh, I forgot to do the eyeballs. Tyson is just one of the most powerful and richest companies. It's weird because I've never heard the name Tyson and I I watched a stupid, uh, not a stupid YouTube channel. I'm sorry, YouTube channel person. I didn't mean to call your channel stupid. I watch a strange, weirdly niche. How do you describe this? YouTube channel that it makes sense that you're watching if you think if you think about it for like a moment because you know that like anything that's sentient is like mm, yes I crave stupid facts fill my head with stupid facts uh, uh, YouTube channel called Company Man I think that's the name of it Company Man and it's just like unending videos on various corporate entities <laughs> you know. Fun facts about Chickafil. <laughs> Shit like that. And I'm like, I can't believe I've never I've never seen one on that channel about uh, 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 uh Tyson. Yeah. Maybe there is one though, and I just I didn't click on it because I was like, Tyson, what's that? Sounds like nothing. You think you said it before, you've no I fucking clue what Meta was doing when they decided to devote like tens of thousands of employees to their uh VR stuff. A big software team is like 20 people with a big team for a little harder bits and features like 500 people and that's include the guy making hardware. Uh, well, you know, if you're if you're some big person at the top, you're like, if five people can work pretty well together, 50,000 people will work even faster together. Scaling up is linear. Right? All it takes is one person doesn't understand how it works. And the magic happens! 
Tyson is a good company. Oh, a food company. Okay, okay. You're not making a moral judgment on them. That's the weirdest, weirdest skin condition for an alligator. I'm gonna try and, um... After I lay down my flats, my flat colors, I'm going to try and tweak them to be more in line with the traditional Hello Alligator color palette. The extended Hello Alligator Cinematic Universe color palette. I can't believe... I guess, I guess the thing with food companies is... They can get really rich if they have, like, no direct competitor. That's the thing. That's the thing. And nobody else has stepped up to fill... Tyson's chicken shoes? So it's a... Small... Pointy little boots. How would you describe a chicken shoe? What the fuck is a sport? Um, I think it's a it's a it's a kind of like a mysterious creature that can only be seen by fathers because a lot of time they'll have the catchphrase "Hello, sport." Kind of like a like a weird boogeyman, bogeyman. Chickens have large talons. I don't know. Do farmers don't tend to their chickens' little feetsy feeds, do they? They don't. They don't clip their little nails if they get too long. Because you know, like like in the wild, chickens have to scritchy scratch at the ground to get themselves a nice little treat to consume. But uh, I assume domestic chickens get feed. Fed to them. So you you think that like their their feet their talons would get overgrown because they don't have a an excuse to just keep scratching. But to, to be frank, I've never seen. Have I seen a domestic chicken? I've never seen a domestic chicken that's remained in my memory banks. Let's just put it like that. Wait, when well, we can't see sports, what about Billy's and Jimmy? <laughs> yeah, yeah, look. Uh, I, I'm sure I can see things that you can't. I don't know what they are. But I, I, I promise you, I promise you. There's... I'm sure, I'm sure there's a balance. I need to go to a petting zoo on my vacation. I've seen fainting goats at a petting zoo. Those were fun. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not see them faint. I just wanna, I just, I want to see an entire, an entire little, little huddle of goats just synchroni synchronously, synchronously lie down together. Just like a, like a, fucking herd of folding lawn chairs. Can I get a squiggle? Can I get a, can I get a squiggle that I'm satisfied with? Can I be satisfied with my squiggles? I best get, I best glass <laughs> I guess that's a better question. I need a drink. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's not, can you create something you are satisfied with? Thank you, Art Sub, thank you. Let me take another. But, it is in fact, can you be satisfied with what you create? Mm, 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 mm. Big, big brain, big brain recontextualization of your own artistic abilities. Unfortunately, I'm chronically unsatisfied with everything I do. 
so my answer is usually no. I was actually looking for like some more on theme uh, music for today's stream. Uh, I was looking for like, I googled Mario dubstep and I found like nothing. I'm shocked. I am shocked and kind of dismayed and let down. Other countries have free roaming chickens and albatross, they call them bin chickens. I mean, here we have pigeons, which, like, supposedly, you know, they give meat, they give eggs, same as any other bird. So I think the only difference between a chicken farmer and a pigeon farmer is like, gee, I guess ambition. Pigeons are cute. I know many people who would disagree with that, but that's because here people are like, oh, they're rats. They're fucking rats with wings. And, 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 and they don't think rats are cute. So, you know, that's their loss. Okay, how can we do this color? How can I... Mm, Oh, <laughs> that's slightly hellish. Um, so I think first what I want to do is apply something that will decrease the saturation in a greeny kind of way. We're already approaching, we're already approaching alligator. They're double wrong. Yeah, but like... May maybe they've been personally victimized by a pigeon in the past. You don't know their life story. No, that's not good. Nah, 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 nah. I guess this is pretty good. Okay, I want the lions to look like stupid thick. So I'll just copy-paste them a whole bunch! Do you think I, you can share this? I might find it funny. <laughs> That's a whole lot of uh, qualifiers. Can I, like, make myself larger? Inquiring minds want to know. Not- okay, like... I mean, what I mean when I say that is like, because this is going to be a little thumbnail, right? This is going to be a, a little, a little thumbnail. It's going to be this size, so, uh... <laughs> Something like this might be more visible for, like, a little, a little screen, right? Somebody watched, went to a fact, uh, factory party and got human drunk. They tried to talk to a guy about wasted and... <laughs> Why would you want to back away from somebody talking about Factorio? Why would you want to talk... I... I don't understand. I can't play the game myself because I don't trust my brain. But I just, uh, there's a guy on YouTube called Dosh Doshington who just finished a playthrough of uh, a mod called uh, C Block. And it was like, mm, mm, yes, fascinating, fascinating. Hours of fun, hours of interesting uh, suffering that other people have partaken in for me to consume from a third party perspective. If you like someone, don't get hammered and go on about Dwarf Fortress versus Dwarf Forces with Gooey. If I like somebody, it's going to be because they can appreciate me getting hammered and going on for hours about Dwarf Fortress versus Dwarf Fortress with Gooey Edition. Alright? 
All right, that's 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 the requirement. <laughs> that's mandatory. That's why me and uh, the Yakuza alligator were never gonna work. Because every time I got to choose what we wanted to do, he criticized me for it immediately afterwards, directly to my face. Do a little pole dance. Do a little pole dance. Do do. To do. To do. And can we can we can we get a can we get a spin upside down? Come on. Wait for it. My computer is very fast. My computer is very fast and and good at recording things. It's, oh, it's struggling. It's struggling. Okay, you know, I, I, we can't do that. Cool, 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 cool. Hammered Gooby stream when? I mean, last summer, I had uh, uh what was it we did? We did like uh, power wash games and like other games that I would classify in the same genre, and I was uh, I was gently partaking in some alcoholic beverages during that. That was uh, Clown Week. That was a little celebration. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that this year because work was very busy. But maybe next year. Maybe next year. I'll have to find another genre that we can chew through. Ooh, 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 ooh. Incorrect. Incorrect. There. I think that's a good size. You're not an artist. What am I doing? Watching my computer freeze up as I try and rotate an image upside down because I've got OBS studio and uh, VTube studio running at the same time and they, they take up all my fucking memory. They take up all the memory Recording a game is one thing but photoshopping that takes a super PC apparently What if I uh, uh, Here if I've merged the layers together is it a little faster at dancing now? No, it's still pretty. Like, look at this shit. You guys ever see people like recording video where they're doing like humorous, janky edits where they're. It's like they've got Photoshop or whatever their artistic tool of choice is open and they're like dragging pictures around and being like, Oh, Horrence! This is blah, 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 blah. Fear not, Matisha! I will be here for you! And it's like, it's you can actually see the images growing and shrinking and transforming in real time. Yeah, those, those are beasts. Those are beast machines to be able to... To, to be able to do the lazy man's animation. Also, hey, Mechanic Cat, welcome in, welcome in. Today's stream is sponsored by... Uh, oh shit, what's it called? What was, what was it? What was it? What was it? What was it? Oh, I'm gonna lose my sponsor. I'm gonna lose my fucking sponsor. Uh... Ant Legion for the swarm! Play now today and get c c c c crazy with ants! You can roast them, you can drown them, you can stamp on them. So many options. Register now following my link below and you will get 12 free magnifying glasses with your initial ant leader, Brunhilde the Rotund. They thought yeah, they were using that in a video editor. Nope, nope. That's just people going into their uh, their drawings programs uh, while they're running, I don't know, like fraps or whatever. And just taking a recording. Maybe it's the fact that, like, not only am I live recording it, but I'm also streaming it. That, like, takes a larger chunk of my sweet, fragile little PC's soft, weak, malleable GPU. Reminds you of N mutations or. Trumpet boy memes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like, wow, I don't know anything. I know, I know the trumpet boy memes. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's exactly it. Precisely, absolutely, positively. 
I think this is this is as good as an alligator as we're gonna get. So I'm actually 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 let me wanna I wanna I wanna uh, upload these to YouTube right now. I can't wait. I'm too exited. I'm too exited to a tundra. Oh, how's that for being a polyglot? Got copyrights. Okay, okay, okay. It's just from my gamer music. Okay, we're good. <laughs> I was about to get mad. Uh, let me export. Uh, a single layer. There we are. Ha! Ah, you guys can't see what I'm doing. It's hidden. It's hidden. <laughs> I love saving something into a folder and then clicking to another folder and, and forget, forgetting where you- Ah, oh, there it is, 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 there it is. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Copyright strikes are scary. They are! Thankfully, I've never had one on Twitch, because I'm a cautious, cautious little creature. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just not, like openly going to play any songs with actual lyrics on my stream. <laughs> That's me being cautious. Fuck it. They're premiering right now live on YouTube. Go watch them. What are you doing here? Huh? Get over there! Inflate my, uh... Numbers. Yes, numbers. <laughs> Wait, don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just kidding, it's a joke, don't leave, don't go. <laughs> Goofy, they're in your house. <laughs> Detail view, sort by date modified, or you can sort by what? What? So conflicted. Yeah, you're gonna have to make your choice now and live with it forever. I don't understand the point of premiering on YouTube, but it always gives me the option. So I'm like a little box to check. Absolutely, I will. I will partake in the premiere. Thank you ever so much, YouTube. Um, num 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 num. I am engaging with your functionality. Don't ask me to do a short though. I will not do a short. So I feel like YouTube's happy with me. As long as I've got a good, like, rapport going with one of these fucking websites. That's good enough, right? Oh, you're telling me how to find my fucking images? <laughs> yeah! Yeah, yeah, not even that solves it sometimes. I... <laughs> Occasionally... My eyes become selectively blind. Things just don't register. So I'll have it like right in front of me and I'll be staring at it and I'll be like, where is this thing? Where is this thing? I do not see it. It just happens. It just happens. And it happens in physical meat space as well as the digital adventure world. So it's, that's, that's, <laughs> it's fun as fuck. <laughs> it's great. I have- I do! Like, look at them. <laughs> They're very special. And it's not just stylish. Your image viewer supports it. Oh, do you have like a specialized third-party image viewer? Do you not rely on the, the delicious, delicious... ...scraps that, uh... Microsoft throws at you. <gasps> Are you a Linux user? Well, that's normal looking for shit. You don't see it right in front of you five times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And you spend like four hours looking for it. And you give up and you're like, well, I guess I had a stroke and I threw it out. So I'll purchase a new one online. 
And then as soon as you've like finished confirming your purchase, and you can't, uh, you can't, uh, you can't cancel the purchase anymore, you look down, and it's it's right there in front of you, and it's it's been there the entire time. Yeah. Normalize. Oh, hold on, you do lose. Okay, okay, okay. Well, I'm actually. I don't believe you. I don't believe the fact that you you use Linux and you haven't mentioned it once so far. That sounds like a lie. That sounds either like a lie or you're about to get kicked out of the international Linux users. Um. Hardy Hut. Because you know, you have to mention it. It is a law. It's not your primary- Okay, 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 okay. You're just a vacationer in Linux land. I understand. I understand. Uh, let me- Oh, <gasps> I know what I can do. I can do. Ah, uh, uh, I, I have to go get something first, though. I need to, um, transfer some images over from my tablet PC to my serious big boy grown-up PC. But then, then we can do- we can do some- <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you. It's just gonna make the surprise uh, more disappointing when I actually pull it up. <laughs> and you see, and you see what everything that I'm excited over, and you're like, what, Goofy, why do you, why, why are you so, why are you so pleased with yourself? This isn't even, this isn't even anything. So, uh, I will be right back. And we are gonna move on to a different image. Can I? I'M PRESSING AFK, COME ON! Let's see here. Uh, I need to switch over. Uh, art programs. Just removing over to some pixel art. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I honestly miss working with Linux computers at the Brain Factory because now I've got a Mac and. Like, usually at the end of a workday, I'm... I, I, I'm too tired to bother switching computers. Uh... So, I'm, I'm slowly... My brain's slowly being corrupted into... Just accepting the awful, awful way that you copy-paste on a Mac. I'm sorry if you have a Mac and it feels normal to you. But for me, it feels like I'm breaking every bone in my... In my thing, in my hand. <laughs> Whenever I'm trying to copy paste, I don't understand how it's supposed to be done. But it's it's spreading. The poison is spreading into my brain, and I've started pressing those key shortcuts on a Windows computer. It's not good. It's not good. I'm not happy about it. I'm mad. I'm furious. 
Can't I reassign it to meta X and meta C? I looked around a little bit, uh, but I couldn't see, like, an easy solution to rebind it that didn't involve, like, downloading a third-party software and having to explain to the... to the... the wardens of the computers what exactly I thought I was doing by, uh, it, installing this software on my... on my Mac. You always customize the computer's work, you hate defaults. I, I usually it's like I don't care about a default if it's not actively making my life worse. I can't start. Uh, what's going on? Uh, come on, come on, get starting. Do it anyway, but I'm lazy. I'm really, 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 really. <laughs> Really, 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 really lazy. I say that as somebody who spends so much time doing so much more work than necessary on so many things. People always like, Goofy, take a break, relax, stop doing things. And I'm like, no, I need to have it perfect. Anyway, I'm really, 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 really lazy. Like, you know, it, 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 it's all perspective. It's all perspective. What can I say? You know. Yeah, I'm lazy depending on what and depending on how I feel like how much energy I should be putting into something versus what I'm actually putting into it. And I was like, I need to put more into it. More! More! I don't do that. Really fucking lazy. Alright, here we are. Behold! So, this is a draw- this is a- this is- can you call pixel art drawing? This is... This is a pixel I am working on. Oh, it kind of looks funky in the in the preview, doesn't it? I can't tell if that's like... Because I got my preview kind of small or what? But like... <laughs> okay, I kind of... I, I want to animate it. I want to make the legs like... Wiggle up and down. I've been holding off on doing that before I post it for uh, Goofy 100, which has been going very well. I want to, I want to have it like, uh, like each leg moves in like a, like a this arc, or like a, like a this arc, and then like a that arc, like do 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 do. And I was thinking of having them like sway back and forth as well. Like this swaying back and forth, this swing back and forth, this swing back and forth. But I think that that might be a little too much for me. I don't <laughs> I don't think I'm I'm that capable at animating. I don't I think I could try to bite it off, but I don't think it would get finished within a sustainable time period. Let's let's phrase it like that. Doing it actual pixel art would be nuts. It would be better than doing it in uh, non-pixel art. I feel I, I don't know. I, I feel animating in pixel art's easier. <gasps> A stray incorrect pixel. <gasps> A stray incorrect pixel. Wow! I can't believe I was so messy with. <laughs> there are pixel art converter plugins, so you do it in vector or whatever first. I guess, I guess. I'm used to doing, um, pretty much all my animating in pixel art. I don't know why, it always just, it feels less, uh, intimidating to me. I su I can't explain it. I, I don't, I don't know why. It just is. I feel like, uh, with, like, vector stuff, I have, I feel like I have to be, like, I 
don't know. Cleaner. I have to be more detail-oriented. Yeah, detail-oriented. There we go. But with pixel art, it's like... I, it's so weird, because it's like pixel art's entirely detail-oriented, so... When I start trying to explain it, I just sound fucking crazy. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. But for me, pixel art, it's like... There's less dots that I have to, like, consistently micromanage. Because, like, when you draw something with anti-aliasing, there's all there's gonna be all sorts of, of little uh, doo-doos and poo-poos that appear on screen that you gotta make sure are clean and nice looking. But with pixel art, it's just one line. It's just like, it's like, there, there you go. I did it, and it's nice, and it's clean, and it's... I can't complain. Vector art has a lot of OCD uh, stuff, like making a random joint not look like shit. Yeah, I, I don't think... That's not true. Uh, I think I... I vaguely fucked with vector art fat back when I... I used, to, I used to do like little animations in Flash back when everybody on the internet was doing that, when that was like the greatest art form, was doing little Flash videos. I actually found a video on YouTube recommended to me recently called like, here's how to animate in Adobe, oh, what was it called? Adobe something. And it's like, and I clicked on it, it was like, Adobe, whatever the fuck this is called, it's like an ind still an industry standard for animation and it's very easy and quick and, and simple to use. And I was like, damn, why did I ever hear of this? And yeah, so basically eight minutes into the video, I realized it was it was uh, Macromedia Flash. <laughs> Renamed. It's, it's the current iteration of Macromedia Flash, which I have spent a good chunk of my youth in doing beautiful, beautiful little, little, uh, tweened animations. Adobe Animate, yeah! Yeah, they, they do like, um, the show with the blue cat in it. <laughs> and the goldfish. Whatever it's called, <laughs> you know? Gumball, yeah, gumball, 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 yeah, 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 look, I've never seen it, I just know the pictures, I just, I can recognize it by sight, but not by word. Am I going on hiatus, small vacation, exactly, yes, 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 uh, I've marked off on, I guess nobody uses this feature, which is understandable, because, why would you, on, uh, Twitch's schedule, I've, uh, marked off which weekends I am not going to be here. I'll probably also post it to Discord and cross post it to Twitter. Yeah, sure, sure, fuck it, why not? Why the fuck not? Like on, <laughs> on Twitter, uh, not on Twitter, on Discord, I was like, oh, I don't know where to post it though, because I only have two channels and neither of them are explicitly labeled Goofy's vacation announcements. <laughs> I am my own worst enemy. I should know the name being a gumball. Are you saying all gumballs are related? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The first cartoon you associate with flash, an flash animation is Johnny Test. Mine is Homestar Runner and my second one is Harvey Birdman. I, what is Johnny Test? Let's find out. Oh, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> Is it a kid's show? <laughs> it looks like a kid's show. Does it have creepy drawings of the characters with like Massively pregnant bellies on uh, DeviantArt. If so, then it's a kid's show. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, there, yeah, I, yeah, I scrolled down and found it on, on uh, Google Images. Yeah, it's a kid's show, okay. Cool. Neat! <laughs> it looks like a, like, if Dexter from Dexter's Lab wasn't a, you know, wasn't himself. What? I don't know Johnny Test. I don't know a lot of kid's shows. <laughs> the only ones that I watched were... 
Uh, the magic school bus. Uh, art attack. Like a little bit of Arthur. That's it. That's it. That's like. Okay, and I, I know like the Powerpuff Girls, but I think it's it's like I think it's a different generation from Johnny Test. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, somebody had to explain to me what uh, Phineas and Ferb was a couple of weeks ago. Our attack was tight. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All my art attack homies come out of the woodwork right now! <laughs> it was so good. I love it. Do you know the guy who was the original host for Art Attack was actually like, I think he was uh, like a, in a punk band or something. And, and it was, and he was like, he wanted to bring like a punk ethos. And he, and he just got, like, roped into this kid's TV show, and he was like, Okay, well, I guess I'm going to make it fucking crazy. I'm going to do what I can. Yeah. Johnny Test is very infamous for its quality. Oh. How can you have, how can you have, like, a... A low- Oh, is it like the animation? Oh, was it like the flash animation? Did- did, uh... Grown viewers of the show criticize its visual appearances? I always find that so funny, because it's like... There was- there's so many anime that was like, released... Where a lot of the frames... Like, the struggle is visible. It's real, and it's visible, and it's right there. And everybody's like, I do not see it. I do not recognize it. I do not acknowledge it. It's fine. It's gonna look better in the final Blu-ray release. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Like Madoka. Madoka had so many... <laughs> beautiful, beautiful frames. Everything about the show? Really? Damn. The only shows that I know of that, like, have people, like, actually going after them are... I think Peppa Pig. I think it's just Peppa Pig. <laughs> that are like, you know, uh, for, for a younger audience. For younger viewers. Okay, I should have one before. Can I drag that over there? Thank you. It didn't start in Flash, but later seasons have switched over to Flash. Ah, see, for for me, when I think of Harvey Birdman, which is one of the shows that I watched that was done in Flash, uh, the original episodes were outsourced to, uh, I don't know, some uh, studio where they, you know didn't have as much control over it, so it had, like, a very classic cartoon feeling where, like, the character's color palettes would get, like, fucked up for a couple of frames, or, like, somebody's arm would be colored the same as their, as their, um, skin, despite the fact that they're wearing a long sleeve shirt. And that worked, because that's, like, the, the generation of cartoons that it's parodying and it's taking its characters from, but then they moved to Flash and doing it in-house for later seasons, and the quality got a lot better. Was Harry Birdman using Flash? It was, it was, it was. Not the, cell, uh, the animations at the start, which are like the first couple of uh, episodes, but you can, you can really clearly see when it switches over if you've got like anything that's not 480p on YouTube, I suppose. Johnny Test was infamous for its abundance of whip cracks. That's not making it sound bad. That's making it sound great. I... <laughs> I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing the issue there. That sounds actually amazing. Is Metalocalypse done with, uh, cell animation? Maybe. I've, I've seen, like, a little bit of Metalocalypse. Uh, me meta... 
that fucking name, show, but not a lot of it. Also, thank you for the follow, Queen the Non-Binary. Enjoy a new life as a piece of gum. You can't say anything to make it sound bad. I just had to be there. Okay. But, like, there's nothing. There's no example. Is it, so it's like, it's, it wasn't the characters that were terrible. It wasn't, like, these super annoying characters doing these inane actions. It was. It wasn't. It wasn't like horrible plot lines, and it wasn't the art. It was. It was something else. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Huh? Undo. <laughs> this program makes it too easy to accidentally drag. Um. <laughs> To accidentally drag one of your frames into another frame and fuck everything up. That's one thing I, I, I want to see them fix. Please. Please, please. Oh. Ignore the cracks. Ignore the cracks in the wall. Ignore the void approaching. The characters are bad. The art is not nice to look at. The whip cracks are going up! The animation is mediocre. See... I, I pulled up the images on Google, and it it, it it looks just like any other like Saturday cartoon to me. The 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 characters, but like I have I have a I have to admit a lot of characters that I see that are like you know Cartoon Network wherever I'm like I don't care for them. So I, I feel like I'm, I'm definitely not one who's able to distinguish between, like, good, classic Cartoon Network, or wherever this was run, and, like, subpar, <laughs> disgusting, dark, twisted, undesirable Cartoon Network. Metalocalypse followed a good pattern and came out good. Early, more random episodes developed main characters in the universe, and then later episodes to have recurring characters in multi-episode stories in an arc that never really finished. Didn't they do a movie? Wasn't there a, a movie at the end that wrapped up the last arc? Never watched the show, but know how, knows how it was resolved. <laughs> That's called reading it on Wikipedia. Did I have the <laughs> This effects is used 337 times in less than 20 minutes. See, that feels like it's just pushing it into, like, anti-humor. Like... <laughs> like, watch-along territory. Can I have this place so it just bounces back and forth? No, I don't. Uh... But I think you can export it so it act so it animates like that. Yeah, you can do animation direction ping pong in the export. So there's got to be a way to preview it in ping pong as well, which is what I want. Da 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 da. da. see anything in the options. Uh, let me, let me Google it. <laughs> Let's hope the internet can help me. Preview. Ping pong. Super Jail had an art change? Yeah, I never, I saw even less of Super Jail than I did of Metalocalypse. I didn't, I didn't watch a lot of Metalocalypse because I I kind of, I get, like, very worn down by, um, gore. <laughs> I don't have a high tolerance for it. I can only see a little bit, and then I'm like, okay, that's enough, I'm good. So, <laughs> I think I got to, like, one part where everybody's faces, people's faces started. It was like, they had, um, they've got, like, their... 
band manager in the early part and like his face gets melted off and then he gets like a replacement face or something like that. I got past that and then there was like some more gore and I was like, I'm done. I'm good, thanks. Death Clock is on tour with Babe Mel right now. Nice, nice, nice. I love it when they can actually like bring the bands into the real world and then, you know, <laughs> Go on tour with uh, a Japanese um, metal idol group. <laughs> it's great! It's great! Bling bling boy was the highlight. Uh, which show of that? <laughs> which show was bling bling boy from? Oh, okay, okay, okay. He's from uh, uh, the dark show. Can't play animate, animation in reverse or ping pong mode. My A sprite version is doesn't matter. I know how to add a loop or tag and select the direction to make. There's a way to select the direction? How do I select the direction? Oh, cheese and crackers. Um, okay, so how do, how do, how do I select the direction? Docks, 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 everybody. A tag indicates an animation of your sprite. Using several tags, you can organize different animations of your... You have to add a tag. And I have to do a ping pong animation on that tag. Cool, 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 cool. There we go, there we go. Excellent. Mystery solved. You have no clue how any of this works, it's just a program. You make it, you make it do the things, and then it does the thing. Then I then this leg goes forward. Yeah, this leg goes forward. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just magic. Bippity boppity boo. There's only two forms of art: rasterize and vector. True. 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 Pixel art is just using different ways of, of seeing the image and controlling it as a uh, raster image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, why does that look wrong? I really need to get rid of this white background. It's not doing me any favors. It's not. I need to nuke it. But it looks. It just looks so aesthetic. I don't want to. I forget how to select. There we are. No, no, no. Contiguous. Contiguous. There we are. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. <laughs> Trigger warning flashing light. Sorry about this. Sorry, anybody who's. Sensitive to flashing lights. I forgot that when you selected things, it did that. Hope all your corneas are doing well. I'm wishing them all a pleasant Sunday. Also, bad news, everyone! Uh, I have a game that I was, like, holding on to play for stream because I heard it was, like, weird. It was- it was a weird, fun little adventure. That- this is what I was told. Um... And I forgot the name of it, and it had just been, like, sitting in my Steam folder for a while. And I was on YouTube, and I was watching somebody's playthrough of a game. And I was like, for some reason, this is very, like, for- I'm- I'm getting these weird, familiar... 
tingles in my head. I wonder why. Oh well, I'll just keep watching through the entire thing. It was the game that I was saving. I was, I was... I can't play it for you guys now because I know the ending and it's a murder mystery. <laughs> Wrong. Ari is just paintings. Duh. Yes, actually, sorry, I forgot. This is cheating. <laughs> There's two kinds of art paintings and cheating. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The little clown creatures. Yes. 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 With their, with their wiggly little feet. Actually, I think this foot went too wiggly. I think I need an in between wiggle. Yeah, uh. I accidentally watched the entire playthrough of Asomnium Files. Whoopsies, you guys. My bad. Uh, yuck. I also watched another, um, so there's a game that I played in year one, year one of the Goofy arc, uh, called The Good Life, which is insane, insane. And I watched, uh, somebody play through, well, Joseph Anderson, I can say his name, I'm not afraid. Uh, play through <laughs> another game made by the same parasitic wasp living in a human's brain called uh yeah no that that game that that name's gone that name's gone from my head uh Deadly Premonition, called Deadly Premonition, and all of the... It, Deadly Premonition feels like the exact same game, but with a horror skin on top, rather than a Tiaboo skin on top. That is, like, the only difference. It is so weird. It is so weird. That was your one? I think that was your one. I'm pretty sure that was your one. Because I've got on my YouTube channel, um, I've classified all of my um, playlists on my channel into the years that they were played during. And The Good Life is indeed in year one. The more you know. Unless I was lying to myself when I classified them, I hopefully I wasn't. I was like, ah, oh, thank you, Shade. Thank you for the Skittles. Are you still to get your watch your whole playthrough of Good Life? No, you should you should just you should just play you should you should just play it blind. <laughs> just just play it blind. If you really want to feel like you're drinking paint, just play it blind. It's it's, it's a great game. It's a it's lobster. Lobster! It's a great game, I love it! It's... I wasn't... Deeply confused at the end. I wasn't... I didn't feel like I was... Being... Like... Slowly conditioned into being a murderer. I <laughs> It was- it was a very normal game, with a very normal ending, and a clearly followable, logical plot from start to finish. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You just forgot about partway through watching it all. That- it's- it's a game where if you don't have video proof of it, you could- I- I personally could easily convince myself that it was entirely a dream. When did I do- Look, debuts are for Broadway musicals, all right? I don't, I don't, I don't need one, and no, neither does you. you, uh, you don't, don't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I'll, I'll debut and I'll start streaming any day soon. Then I can say it's year one and just like 
deny that I did anything beforehand. People will be like, wow, you're, you're so good at, at uh, VTubing. You've got this whole setup just ready immediately. I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just stepped out of the VTubing room like this. See, I, I gotta wait until I stop saying shit like that. Then I can, then I can officially announce that I'm alive. Any day now. Any day now. It, it's gonna happen. You need some math? 27 months of three tier following. Uh, I actually started streaming on YouTube first. Ah! <laughs> on YouTube first! So it's not accurate if you look at my Twitter. Twitch. Nailed it. <laughs> July 2012? Yeah, yeah, I started in 2012. I was actually the first VTuber. People attribute it to some girl in Japan. But like, if you really know the history, it was me. <laughs> All alone in 2012. <laughs> Talking to a chat of zero people. VTubing? You don't look at it as 24-7? No, no, of course not. Sometimes I uh, wash my makeup off. I get into some PJs. Sometimes, sometimes I look like this. Believe it or not, I'm not always fully dressed up. Fully styled. In my gamer t-shirt. My gamer hats. I just stare I'm so glad I've actually destroyed all evidence of my older VTuber forms. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. You don't need to know. It's weird because it's like, I like to feel like I draw semi-consistently, but like, I don't know what I was smoking when I made my older VTuber models because they like, they were actively worse images than what I was capable of drawing at the time. I don't, it, it doesn't make sense. I turned goth for a second. Every day of my life, there are seconds, minutes, hours even, in which I remain goth. That's sad, you wanna know? Well, you'll have to brave the ultimate, most difficult, most challenging trial of scrolling down for a stupid long time on my Twitter account, if you want that dark forbidden knowledge. Actually, no, that's not true. You can just look at my old... <laughs> My old VODs. Fuck. <laughs> I want to wipe them out, but I won't. Because I'm too... Nice? Yeah, let's go with nice. Also... I actually did have... Uh, experience working in Live 2D. Back in straight up, I want to say, 2012. I found... Old, old images. It became a, tr a uh, like a hot new program very, very briefly on Tumblr, probably. Yeah, it was, it was probably fucking Tumblr. And everybody was going ape shit over it. And I, I, I have, I have, I have proof. I have proof. You will go VOD hunting. It's on my YouTube channel. If you go to my website or my YouTube, I think I've got my YouTube linked here. Uh, you go to the home page. I literally have playlists of all the games that I actually completed, organized from oldest to newest. There, I, I've done such a good job of. Uh, Keeping the history that I want to keep. <laughs> there's, uh, there's, I think there's like two games, maybe three, where I just didn't finish them. I got bored. 
So those are in the void. Those never existed. But everything else we got. Telefang was the very first one that I played and <laughs> I was going back to like clip out every single time I said a catchphrase in them and oh man, oh man. I, I found all the parts where I was like, I was so, so tired after going for three hours. I've, I've grown so strong. I've grown so strong since then. Now we can go for three hours, sometimes even four, occasionally five. Wow! It came out in 2008. Yep, 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 yep. It just, for a lot of time, people were like, well, what? I mean, like, I can use it to make a fun little, fun little avatar, but like, what else? They didn't understand the capabilities of it. I think it was like, uh. It was pretty much just used for, like, phone game. Girlies. You know, the ships, the, the battleships that are girls. Those ones. I know you know. You know that I know you know. Can I make this leg transition look less fucked? Can call it no, um the Chinese one. Um I forget the name. <laughs> I guess your VOD scrolling on Twitch unless I have two I have two YouTube accounts. <laughs> If you go to as your lane, there you go. It, it, is this the one? Is this not the one you're looking at? How, wh how did you find the other one? I hit it. YouTube is really struggling to pull my first vintage for video. It's not even four years old, YouTube. What are you doing? Also, yes, I will drink. He will drink. I will drink. Delicious. I did my leg looks so bugged in that transition specifically. go. I'll just get rid of- get rid of that one. This little nugget right there. It's not doing me any favors. It should only make it more difficult for me to wiggle. My mother- <laughs> Yeah, it's- it, don't- don't- don't worry about- don't, it, 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 I have no excuse. I, I don't understand what happened. I don't understand. I don't understand what I did. I don't. I don't. I can't. I can't. I can't justify. I can't explain it. I just sometimes sometimes my brain and my hands stop working in coordination with each other, and it's very unfortunate because it's usually when I'm drawing, but I don't want that to happen. I think I described it once as like, I looked like I had just eaten a mouthful of bees. <laughs> it, it, it takes a while to understand how you gotta make things so they look okay when you animate them. My mic was a lot more low quality. My original videos No, I don't- I don't think I started just with a laptop mic. I think I tried that. I tried recording with the laptop top mic and I sent the recording to somebody and I was like, do you understand what I'm saying? 
And they said no. <laughs> so I had to, I got like some cheap ass piece of shit. Because I wasn't about, like, I, I didn't have a microphone. I didn't have anything. Everything that you see here today was me getting as I was like, okay, okay. I guess I, I guess I am going to do this for a while. I guess I can justify spending big money on my hobby. You know? Not all of us start out in a corporation, okay? <laughs> Can you post the... There you go, I did it. You, you... You're not, you, you, you can, you can, you can, you can, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fine, just, 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 just go ahead, just go ahead, post the video. I want everyone to see, I, I think I, I showed my model last, uh, last anniversary stream, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to reach the point where it's like, when you, when you see, in my retrospective, there's just gonna be like a bag over the head of the oldest one. <laughs> just, just don't, just don't worry about what it looked like. It's in the past. The future is so much brighter. Honestly, I think uh, I've got like some clips here from Valentine's Day one year when I read a, a, a erotic sideshow Bob fan fiction. I still have my old face. All clowns are queens, thank you. I have like three YouTubes. I have two YouTubes. I... I oh, okay, uh... uh Frankenlurch, Frankenlurch, I think... Uh, has like some... has some clips on YouTube? Maybe that's the third one that you're seeing. I... I don't... I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not good at clip. I'm not good at video. Frankie Lurch has created some beautiful, beautiful, amazing content for me, which I I am I still I'm still like so confused and floored and shocked and pleased and, and so thank you for it. as always. Thank you so much. Every 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 video is is a song and and beautiful and amazing. And, and I've got uh, two YouTube channels. One has a banner with me squatting in front of my own tombstone because uh, I needed to make a second one. And it's called, I think, Vintage Goofy Honko. And that's the one that the older playlists are on. I'm too lazy to re-upload and move all the videos over to the new channel, so... <laughs> it stays. And then I've got Goofy Honko, which is the regular one. Which is where I put all my VODs. Yes, 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 yes. You archive the one-off streams and clips. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I forgot, I forgot about those as well. I have four. Where are you getting the fourth one? Ah. Uh... Fine. Fine, fine, I'll, I'll permit, I'll allow. Enjoy, enjoy the bee face. Can my eyes open properly? Can I blink? Can I see? Oh no, there's an ad. <laughs> I have to go wash my eyes out apparently. They keep multiplying. <laughs> you never figured out how VODs works. Your catalog of Twitch stuff is non-existent. It's actually um, pretty easy. You just need to go to your, you know, your dashboard in Twitch, and there's a drop-down option called Content. And if you go into that drop-down option, there's 
another one, there's another option below called Video Producer. This is where you can see all of your current VODs that are on Twitch. The fourth is just someone making clips with my stuff. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's... Is that, is that, uh, maybe, that, maybe that's Mr. Frank Gilert's channel. <laughs> your stuff is lost media. Doesn't that just make it like more amazing and valuable and like tran transcendental and ephemeral and each each experience should be treasured that much more by your viewers because it's, when it's gone it's fucking gone but like for the future you know if something happens and you want like uh legal proof that you didn't do anything and and it's it's you need you need to show like receipts uh, in your video producer in Twitch, there should be uh, three dots on the far right side of each video past the highlight option. And in that three dots, there is an export option and you can export your videos and they will, and I think if you don't have a, t a YouTube channel linked to your Twitch, You'll probably be prompted to do that at that time. But then it just it just directly uploads from Twitch to YouTube as a private video. And you can like choose to publish them at your own discretion, but otherwise they're just there for you. Oh yeah, also VODs expire, so do it <laughs> do it quickly. Uh, thankfully I also save a copy on my hard drive, so when I dropped that ball for like five months or seven months or something or like 12 months and didn't upload any videos for a really long time technically I was safe because I still had them on my my hard drive <laughs> it's a hundred percent it's still there in your memories unless you have a brain like me in that case, yeah, it's 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 fucking gone. <laughs> 3D model honk is super cute. Aw, thank you. I've uh, I've gone back in. I've tried to make myself three dimensional yet again, but it's just it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I don't think I could make it look as nice as 2D. And also, I don't have time. It's like, I can feel myself, like, slipping into the void of falling down that rabbit hole for, like, three, three or four weeks and then just being dissatisfied with the result at the end. What I, what I can do one day, maybe, possibly, is bite the bullet and get, like, a good 3D rigger to make me. And like I've seen I've seen so many 3D riggers where they're just they're just like amazing at copying over what exists in two dimensions into a, like a beat for beat accurate 3D model. So I think I think that would be that would be the the uh, end goal. It's funny seeing the evolution of the honk models. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Your brain's on dial-up limit when the Grim Reaper comes to you and gives you a life montage. I hope I don't remember everything that I forgot when that happens. <laughs> I'll die cringing. <laughs> I'll be like, oh, oh fuck, I hope nobody else remembers that either. Oh, oh, oh no. There's so many goofy variants. There are. Um, on my site, I actually have like a record of all the all the dark goofy models I got like a picture of like magic school goof I've got <laughs> sock puppet goof I've got them all but I always use the rotating gum orb you are correct I could I could I, I actually tried to get the 3D model, the last one that I had, working for um, my anniversary last year. But something had had broken in it. I don't know. I don't know why. Apparently, if you don't touch a 3D model, 
if you don't reach over and you just don't stroke its fucking cheek like like a sad little baby every three months, it just stops working. And I would have had to like go back in and remember how all the like the face parts and how how my how my mouth works in 3D and like mess around with it in Unity again and. Ugh, 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 ugh. Ugh. I made- I wanted to try it, and I had, like, the thought of, oh, maybe I should, like, a day and a half before the- <laughs> before the anniversary. So, that was not on the table. And this year, I just want to keep it simple, stupid. As long as I can get the game that I want to play working this year, I'm just gonna be so happy. So happy. That's all I need. Just for things to not actively go wrong. Alright, can we... How's that looking? You know, it's, uh... There's no squash and stretch. It's no, um, dynamically bouncy thing. But I think, I think it's, uh, actually, you know what, you know what it looks like? It looks like I'm fucking clapping. I'm clapping my feet together. Maybe rather than this torso element swinging back and forth like this, that would be insane. I could just be bouncing up and down a little bit. Just bouncing up and down. That's easy enough to do. Bouncing is so easy. Bouncing is not even a challenge. Going down the VOD hole on Twitch now. Good luck! I salute you! Like, uh, I should probably save. I should probably save before I do this. I love- I love doing me some squash and stretch. Cause it just looks so good. It just looks so good and it's so easy. You should be able to unlink the channel. Uh, I did with my previous one. When I swapped. Thank you, thank you. I was so hungry. Ah, uh, look. Uh, hello, I'm Goofy Honko, and I will be your tech support for today. Changing your YouTube account that Twitch uploads to. You have to go to twitch.tv forward slash settings forward slash connections. Unlink your YouTube channel and link the other one. That's twitch. Ah! Actually, that was eight years ago. That might be incorrect. Ah! Oh, I'm already. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't. Do you think I was joking? I don't fuck around. I don't fuck around. No jokes on this channel. It's the most serious one. There we go. That seems to work. You go there, and you can unlink your channel, and you can add a new one. No matter where I go, I am always doing tech support. It's just, it's just the point of my life. Thought I was gonna wait till next week. No, next week we got all the Baldur's Gate videos premiering. I don't have time. I don't have time to do both. It's one or the other. I've got oh the Baldur's Gate's videos. They're gonna take a they're gonna take a while. I think I'm gonna actually be I don't know if I'm gonna be back streaming when they finish, but it's like around around that time. There's so many. So many gates. Yeah. Yep, multiple ones. Actually, there's a gate at the temple of the final boss that we killed. It's like it's like a reoccurring theme in the game. It's like your heart's closed off. Gated, if you will. 
to the rest of your party members. And as you progress through the game, it only increases because you hate them so much because they're always criticizing you and everything and you're, you're, you're trying your best, but you hear keeps screaming at you. She doesn't understand. She doesn't appreciate the amount of work you're putting in to making sure that everybody's still alive. And Imoen keeps going boring. I'm trying my best. Other way around, okay. My bad. <laughs> okay, now you need a transition frame, because this is... <laughs> a little nuts. A little nuts looking. Excuse me. You like how people edit stuff, but you just threw two hours worth of Baldur's Gate onto your channel and called it a day? Same. Same. That's what I- that's what I do for most of my videos. Uh, editing requires... ...a strong, powerful computer when you want to throw things that are, you know, a sizable chunk down onto, uh... ...the editing slab. Do you want to excuse the common mouth cute clowns are so underappreciated? <sighs> Apparently they are. Apparently they are. You know, I never thought that, like, the fear of clowns was so widely circulating. But you know what? You know what? Roko has, has risen to the top and exists as definite proof that clowns like us can overcome the hardships and the underappreciation that we are faced with every day. And we can, we can, we can stake our claim. We can make our name. But like, uh, I had to, I, I had to, had to. Listen to what I'm about to describe and then decide for yourself if I indeed had to do this. I, air quotes, had to add in disclaimers at the beginning of my first couple of Baldur's Gate playthroughs saying, please forgive me, I used story mode in the first dungeon. <laughs> that was the entirety of the editing that I had to do. Again, I had to make your own choices there. And it took like several hours for those videos to render before I had to- before I could re-upload them to YouTube. Roko is rising up so well, you're happy for a game that new house- Yeah! 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 I- I really want my job to go back to a, a, a position where I don't have just like continuous meetings <laughs> during when she streams. It's been so long, I wanna- <laughs> I wanna be able to watch her again. <laughs> uh. Employment is suffering. <laughs> to be honest, I really needed that one since Scooby on Co Square had some bad stats. Yeah, yeah, I I still I still want to take what I learned and go back and like play through that part again. As an intellectual who has fully uh, grasped the abilities and uh, limitations and tactics required to defeat enemies in Baldur's Gate. Did I watch the amazing digital circus? Is, is, is that like code for, for watching a silly person? <laughs> Watching a what is watching a silly person do a stream YouTube thing. Okay. No, no, I have no idea what that is All my YouTube watchings are me just watching 18 hour retrospectives on uh, video games and video game uh, Franchises That's all I consume <laughs> an indie show on YouTube. Ah! It's- yeah, I, I, yeah, I never watch that stuff. That's not the- I'm not into that.
Also, thank you for the follow, Red. 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 Revil. <laughs> Re Revil de Pring Owls. There, nailed it. Enjoy a new life as a piece of gum. I think I would really like it since it's just your aesthetic. I mean, uh. I remember when people were like, Hey Goofy, have you watched, um. Hamburger Circuit? Ham hamburger. Clown hamburg Clown hamburgers? <laughs> I had to look at it, but it's like, stuff like that, it doesn't really, uh, stay in my brain much. I just watch it and I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> and then I move on. Hi. There we are. There. It's perfect. Yeah, yeah, big, big burger, big burger. Also, I think I need, uh, I have run out of water. So I'm going to go to get some more water and I'm going to run a quick ad so I don't have to deal with that when I get back. And then we're going to make another baby bounce. We're going to have another baby bounce along with the first. Actually, 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 let me just keep this playing. And I'm just, I'm just going to. I'm just I'm I'm just gonna scoot. I'm just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this up while I go get my drink. So you can all enjoy. All right. I return. <gasps> Congratulations on your victory, buddy is missing. Enjoy your, uh... How much money do you get from that anyway? <laughs> 500 gum tears! <laughs> and your cool skull eye patch! Welcome back. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I think, I think the bounce... I think the bounce was a good call. It's just like... An extra little layer.
think for this one I can have it wiggle back and forth. Maybe they can all move differently. We'll see. I'll just do the feet first, and then we'll decide what the rest do. Bounce is very good. Yeah, it is! Yeah! Also, ah, you're right. Yes, celebrate that victory! You earned it, clown boss! Alright, let's, uh, how do I stop? How do I stop the animation? There we are. Uh, I'll probably finish the other feet, and then... Well, let's, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I want to say I'm gonna guess if we're gonna reach three hours, but maybe I'm gonna be faster than I think I am. I don't want to discount the fact that I might just suddenly... ...be the speediest little creature. Was this the original one? Is this, is this where it started from? Well, I guess if we're if we're ping-ponging, we start from the middle with this, and then now we, we we can move one of these feet down and one of these feet up. Yeah. No, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! There we go! There we go! That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah, this this foot right here, it's gonna be easy. Easy peasy 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 to animate. Actually this one too. Yeah. This is like the perfect position in which to edit feet from. Goofy quotes. Add uh, delete and then edit. Look at that foot! Ah! Might not take as long as I thought it would. way faster than I thought it would be. <laughs> okay, so it's leaning down here. So now it needs to go up. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. I... Uh, uh. There. <sighs> like, this, this art program, it's great. It's amazing. It's wonderful. Pixel art. Best friend does everything. You cannot ask for more. But... <laughs> but... If I were to ask for more, sometimes it is incredibly clunky. <laughs> and it's so easy to accidentally select things sometimes. So if I could ask for more, if I could... Please... to have it like reach up extra high and reach down extra low on the endpoints because it doesn't it doesn't really feel like it's got that the same kind of rhythm that these do although it does it feels more relaxed it's okay that there's like a different energy and different movement energy between the two I don't know I want to keep them kind of similar so let's let's try and uh, bump it up a little bit. This music, it I know it's not, but it sounds so like nostalgically uh, familiar of uh, chip tune. But it's not, it's just, it's, it's what Chiptune was like based off of, so it's like, yeah, of course it sounds like Chiptune.
the head bobble. I kind of want to. I kind of want to. Kind of want like just like the head to be like deet, 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 back and forth like that. Higher, just just a little bit more up. Changing it for your username seems weird. Try rebranding to an entirely different username and an entirely different. Actually, it's not true. I I never really had a following before I started VTubing. I didn't really. I, I think I was like there was like 400 people following my old Tumblr blog back in the day, which is. It's really, it's really, it's really nothing. If you draw, if you draw for long enough, you'll get, you'll get people. I never, I never really had a name that I settled on before I decided to go with my, you know, legal Christian name, Goofy Honko, when I hid behind pseudonyms. <laughs> Wow, that looks too bad. That looks that looks that looks insane. Uh, da, 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 da. Let me let me roll that back. How can I how can I make it look like maybe if I lower it a little bit more here? Go. That's, a, that's a little bit more energy. In the middle of procrastinating a name change, you get how that feels? Yeah. Just do whatever comes to mind, and then once the regret sits, like, fully sinks in a couple months later, it's fine, because it's like, ah, well, I didn't really put too much effort into that, so I can change again. You know, you gotta either keep rebranding fast enough so that everybody understands that you are not to be trusted and that you will you will change again. Or you gotta like stick with the same name for like a really long amount of time. To the point where it's like this is a name you chose 12 years ago and you're deeply regretful of it, but you can't go back. You're stuck. You're screwed. I think the worst is when you're like a kid, you're like a little kid, and you think something sounds really cool, and you choose it, and then like, because you're, you're young, you're developing so fast, like immediately two months later, you're like, no, what was I th no, what was I thinking? No, no. Although I guess on sites nowadays, it's like it's pretty easy to rename yourself. There's no like time limit or anything. But if you ever get stuck on a site that like limited limits your name changes, ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho. Oh, then you feel it. Then you feel it. That was how it is from ages 14 to 24. Yeah. Yeah. Usually stick with names for a long time. This one's from like 2015. Ooh. You have one you still use even from before that. I, I still have my... I think... Well, I mean, I think... I think I have access to I haven't tried logging into it in three years or two years or whatever, but I don't think Microsoft purges. But I still have access to my very first email address I ever created, which was me looking at the name of a TV show and being like, wow, I want to call myself that, but um, I couldn't spell. I... <laughs> I feel like I can't say I have dyslexia, <laughs> I, but also I probably... 
it's, it's, it's like, there, there's something, there's something in there where it's like, if there was no spell check built into everything these days, I, I'd be incomprehensible a lot of times. Uh, but it's like, I, I typoed it to the point where it no longer resembles the name <laughs> in any functional way whatsoever. Which is why I can tell you the name of the TV show was Nanolan. <laughs> I really liked Nanolan. I loved Nanolan. I was like, I want to call myself Nanolan. And I, I didn't figure out, I didn't understand what the name was. I didn't understand that it was the kid in the show was unable to pronounce uh, Nana's land. That it was like her grandmother's backyard. I was just like, oh, it's Nanolan. It's a nonsense word. I like it. I'm going to name my email. <laughs> I guarantee you, no matter how many variants of Nanolan you type into an email address, your your mail will never go through to me. <laughs> You're an ancient one. This nickname has been used by me for two decades or so. That's powerful. That's powerful. I can't. I can't use that. I've I've been through too many regrettable phases. I went through a period of time where my usernames had the word Chan on the end. <laughs> This is just between you and me, and whoever watches the VOD. And if it gets uploaded onto YouTube, whoever watches that. Right? Okay, so don't, don't share that around. <laughs> but yeah, I, I we can't go back with me. <laughs> Thank you, Green Clonkin. <laughs> You're too kind. Yeah. Yeah. Changes had to be made. I, I didn't have the option of sticking with one. That was never in the cards. Nanolan looks so funny. It is... It's a very wholesome show. It's a very wholesome, funny, silly, haha show. It sits in the same place in my heart as, like, Yatsuba. I have... I have... Endless time for things like that. Or <laughs> Goofy Chan. Look, look, my name died, but I remain. I know that a lot of a lot of what we what we assume to be something is based on how we call it and how we name it, and arguably changing the name of something can can transform it into something entirely different. But it's still me. It's still me. I haven't gone away. I want to bounce this baby. Ooh, I have a, I have a, a thought, a game thought. What if I just like? Like a little whoop 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 whoop. Of obviously, I'll do a little a little a little stretch, a little swatch, a little fixy fixy. Do some work. I'll clean it up. I'll make it palatable to the masses. And by the masses, I mean myself, because it, it, it doesn't look good right now. It really doesn't look good. glad I saved before I did this, unless I've already quick saved since I started, which I might have because it's, it's built into my fingers to constantly hit save. <laughs> I 
then I'm like, now I'm like, I'm not sure if I can make it look good. Like, that looks wrong. My lump's disappearing in an unnatural way. There's a weeb in all of us. There is. There is. It's crawling out at night. And it's gaining sustenance by eating all the leftover food that you have lying around. This is why you gotta clean up. If you wanna kill your inner weeb. It's very hard to judge. Uh... Be too big of a movement. I guess we'll see if it's too big once we combine them all and scream at the animation. <laughs> Only one way to find out! I love mad animation science. This is getting intense. And not like the circus kind. <laughs> I mean, it's still a bit fucked, but like. <laughs> Does this here could use some work? This area right here? I love how it it's almost like it's bouncing with the time with the with the music. It bounces game. It is! It is! What do I need to do to, to make this part look better? Maybe just like fully fuck with it. Let's give this a shot. Worst thing that happens is I scream. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I really don't know about this back bit right here, but if you just like, if you cover, if you cover this part up... If you just pretend... Shit, it's only on one frame! Uh, hold... Come on! Hide it! Hide it! So I'm, I'm 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 liking everything else. I also think I need to do the, a little bit of a, a little bit of a bounce down here as well, because otherwise it's like this part is really too weirdly static. But like, <laughs> just just don't worry about. It. I forgot I forgot to forgot to raise my hand again. Please excuse me. Oh man. Uh, see, like, I like the transition here. I feel like that... Mm. The problem's here. Maybe this is... Maybe this is the issue. 
I said that, but then immediately I want to put it back the way it was before. With that, this down here, this needs to be moving a little bit. Yeah, yeah. hopefully that's better in motion as well as just in slow. It's okay, it's okay. Enough for Goofy. <laughs> Shadow here could also use some work. I think just the transition here is not really great. I think this music is just like perfectly suited for this an ilu animation illustration abomination. this down a little and I want to move this down a little yeah yeah it's all we needed it's all we needed just just a little more movement oh That's all we need. <laughs> Society doesn't need a lot. It just needs that. Good. mystery of the second idol has been solved. Now we move on to the final one. So this, this seems like an end position. So let's, let's move from there. going beyond my wildest dreams of what I was hoping we'd be getting here. I'm so satisfied. I say that, but immediately I'm, immediately I'm like, mm, I don't care how this one looks. Uh, it does not satisfy me in, in, its, in its foot movements. So, you know. <laughs> Regret. Actually, let me let me move this to a new, new layer. So if I want to copy paste it, I could do it without worrying about fucking everything else up. How do I delete a layer? There we are. Yeah, this one, this one, I want to try and wiggle the head back and forth from side to side. 
like that. Oh shit, it's just still down here, isn't it? Yeah. Get out of here! Get out of here! Get out of here! Come back here! Here we are! Okay, I gotta keep the foot to the side, I guess. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling that more. I tried to get too three-dimensional. And you can't do that, because three-dimensional requires three, not two. like a classic case of pillow shading, my dude. Uh, I think I'm trying to swing it down too far. That's the issue here. That should be down there. Hmm. What's what's the what's the highest and the lowest points that these feet want to be at? Actually, um, I actually think it can go higher. I think it can go higher. I think it can like lift lift off to this point for the final arc of the swing. All the way up, like so. And then for middle, we can have it like right here. What's happening over here? Ooh, 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 ooh. There, so... That, that's, that's looking a little better. We still got a ways to go, but... I'm not paid enough to think in three dimensions. I'm not paid enough to think in one dimension. And yet, I'm trying. Up. And down, and down, and down, and up, and down, up, and up, and up, and up, and then up, and then up, and then up, and then actually, can I, can I, can I, can The art style of cheating! I love digital art! Just fucking cheat, man. Just go to the computer and say... Hey, a sprite, generate leg! And it just goes beep beep, and it does it for you. Not cheating, it's magic. <laughs> that's what that's what the uh, the art bros will tell you when they say no no no. This is me learning how to use this tool and and developing an eye and uh, working smarter not harder. They're just trying to gatekeep it. They're just trying to gatekeep it somehow. I don't understand. 
if you aren't drawing with your own blood, um, on paper, woven from whatever hair you can get off your body, are you really a true artist? I don't think so. I... I sincerely doubt it. I am here to call you out. Leg. <laughs> Alright, so... I kind of want to see about this one just having one leg moving. Maybe I should- no, I should do both. I should do both. I thought it would be like, oh, they're just- they're just wiggling their foot in time with the music that is always playing forever in everybody's heads when they are looking at things consistently so they know what I'm doing. Oh, it's so good! Ah! I love looking at pixel art when it makes me feel this good. <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to get this level of joy with pixel art than it is with other art. That's why I come back to it time and time again. Just, let me just, let me just, let me just, let me just. Cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater, pumpkin spice. Oh, 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 the lines up here. <laughs> I wanted to get rid of that. Going so fast. Ah, nose. Yeah, I can't put stuff like this up on my VOD channel. The <laughs> I'll get arrested. The door will be kicked down live on stream when I'm just sitting there playing a peaceful game, violating no rules, destroying no laws. People won't even understand why I'm being taken away. They won't have the context. Dumblebee squished that. Uh, yeah, I just gotta hide my actions. And no one will ever know. Just be, be, be between you and me and my therapist. Actually, I don't think that- I think I'm going to draw that one. That looks... <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm gonna have to read- I'm gonna have to draw this one. Fine, 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 almost. I made it almost all the way. Actually... Maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe I despaired too soon. Dramatic music. Help me out here. Let me cheat. There we go. There we go. Ah. Spreading my wings and soaring.
fits so well with the music too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes having a background track on your life, it does something. <laughs> what is this music? It sounds familiar. It is the sound of hope. It is the symphony of destiny that rings out across space and time. It's Enigzeno Blade Chronicles X Sylvanum Day. It is the chorus of our spirits calling out across the galaxy. Okay, next, give me. Oh. <laughs> well, things might, might stop working out so well now. Let's get this phallus wiggling. I'll, don't don't worry guys, I'll be going back in and fixing it afterwards. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Don't, don't whoop, whoop. No. Uh press my pen button. Paste it onto layer three. What's wrong with you? Is it not on? Is it on layer three? Okay, it only shows up in the bottom after I finish moving it. Right, 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 right. All right. Cool. Lovely. Darling. I should have, I should have, I should have, uh, <laughs> I should have done that for the, 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 there. It's gonna be a lot easier to edit from. You decapitated him. It's fine, it's fine. All wounds will heal. Gum is naturally self repairing. Don't look that up online. I am the expert. You can trust me. Yeah, this middle one, this middle one's just gonna require a lot of love, isn't it? There's no, uh, there's no easy solution here. Let's just fix it up. A little bit of spackle, a little bit of paint. You'll be right as the rain. You trust me with your gum life? Thank you, thank you. Fool! No, no, no! Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Look, if I've been alive for this long, I know a thing or two about a thing or two. About basic gum um, survival. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Just, just that. Just that. <laughs> don't look to me for any other sorts of advice, please. I don't know how to manage your stocks.
lighting a little bit out, out, of, out of control here. Yeah, let's merge let's merge these layers down. There we are. Cannot control the gums. Are they wild and pure and forever free? You know you just realized how appropriate it is that I'm streaming today, you've been playing Pokemon Go? With you in the background since today's community day, and the featured Pokemon is Timber, who literally has a family of clown Pokemon. Really? Timber? I mean, Timber's got like a clown coated nose, if I remember correctly. Oh, wait, no, that's, that's Timber's evolution. It's got like the. Ger it's, Nick, it's Girder, who's. Yeah! Girder is like. The uncomfortable fusion of a clown and the Akira baby in my head. Oh god. Like... I understand they're supposed to be like, like, bulging muscle veins, but like, they just, they just... They... Something ain't right with that boy. Something ain't right. Oh shit, I deleted the rock! No, I didn't mean to delete you underneath it. There's strong men and clowns. Yeah, yeah. I can see that too. Is there like a... I wonder if there's a third level. I just, like, I, I've stopped play, paying attention to Pokemon, so now I'm, whenever I go back, I'm like, so what weird is... Oh, they've got, they've got the third evolution. I completely forgot about this. Can I- can I resize? Can I- <gasps> No, oh ho ho, okay, uh, uh, uh... Come on. Come on, there we go. Third evolution. All seven pixels of it. Almost reaching perfection. The little knob? You mean the little top knot? The classic clown's hairstyle. Or the working clown. It's all happening. It's all. I really didn't think I'd get a drawing out today. I really didn't think so. I thought it was gonna be like, today is going to be a Goofy 100 hiatus pause, which is perfectly fine, set up by the rules. I'm saying this for myself because part of my brain's like, oh, no, we can't have that. But like, I thought today was gonna be a little break, but instead, this image that I've literally been so excited to finish might be the one that's coming out today. Feels good. Feels sublime. <laughs> so.
the dancing trio. If I keep playing. Okay, they kind of they kind of don't match. They kind of don't match with the current music. They're kind of a little a little offbeat. Even even more so with this one. And some schmoove animation. Thank you, 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 thank you. The newest Pokemon little guy. <gasps> I would I would <sighs> I know it's I know it's unreasonable. But if if I if I could bring myself to become emotionally invested in Pokemon again, and then also have the powers to create I want uh, a Ditto line that's exactly the same as the Eevee line in terms of like one Ditto for each type. Uh, I, I don't give a f I don't know how they'd work in the moves. I don't know how they do like the, the mechanics and the combat. Frankly, I don't give a fuck. I just want to see little Dittos. I want and this this right here fairy type Ditto. Tell me I'm wrong. Whimsical little creature. There's sort of a new Ditto. Oh, oh, is it like uh, the Pokemon Company Company's time honored? Uh, I'm wrong. <gasps> How dare you? Is it the their time honored um, strategy of creating a Pokemon that's it's kind it's kind of like a sim like an existing one, but it's just a little bit different. Like there have been so many electric rats, <laughs> so many, and it's like this is definitely not Pikachu. But you want to buy a plushie of it? Huh? It's yellow. And it's a rodent. There's two new dittos? Wah, 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 wah. Wah, ditto with hair. Ditto with hair. No. <laughs> uh, normally you're, you're supposed to keep washing and cleaning your ditto. If it grows hair on it, that's that's generally a sign of like um, a fungal infestation. <laughs> it's not a good that you don't want to encourage that. Okay, if I Google hair ditto, what's gonna? No, see, I just get hair clips. <laughs> I just get hair clips and actual people's hair. One's technically not a ditto, but it's clearly a ditto. Okay, okay, okay. You know what? Bulbapedia... dot bulbagarden dot net. Hold, hold. Let me switch out my tabs. Actually, let me... First... Let me export. And then... Let me import. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them dancing in the side of my screen until the end of today's stream. Ooh, bars. There they are. There they are. All right, and then. <laughs> Then I'm going to switch my window capture. Hold. And we are going to look at the newest Pokemon. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh, the list has grown since I did that tier list like two years ago, isn't there? It, it's it's grown so much. All right, all right, all right. The final generation. Sorry, current current generation. No, I feel like I've seen these ones. Actually, no, I haven't. I don't remember this pig. I do not remember Lechonk. I I would have remembered Lechonk if I had seen it. Uh. Here, here's here's definitely not Pikachu. This is this is flat fuck Friday Pikachu. Um, 
very unique bird type, very unique. Uh, <laughs> where's, where's, where's Ditto with an uncomfortable amount of hair? I like, I like, I, I like how this one looks like it's, it's just walking. I like this image. But like, also, I know that if they hadn't drawn it like this, I would, I would be spitting furious at them for like color swap swapping tentacool and being like this is a new pokemon like how dare you he's a mammal he walks fish can walk too if they want to all right that is that that's not classifying it as any sort of <laughs> any sort of creature like... My man Pokemon designer at the Pokemon company was sitting there with, I don't know, a hundred and something slots to fill out for the newest game, and it was 3 a.m. And the four loco just kicked in. And he knew he was gonna have to go get his stomach pumped in 15 minutes. So he just did what he had to do. That, that, that's all I can say. He did what he had to do. Alright, where... Where is the uncomfortably hairy ditto? Also, they're getting so much... R real, uh... You're telling me that's in a row? Are you kidding me? Like, what's what's wrong with making Wiglet th this uh, um, part of the Diglet family? You know, we've got our regional variants. What are you afraid of? People love regional variants, and I'm sure they would have welcomed Wiglet and Wug Trio into the Ditto and Doug Trio family with open arms. Come on, come on. Give me uncomfortably hairy ditto. See, I was like they wouldn't just make ditto again, but like... I think I've seen exactly what they're willing to do in this generation. <laughs> I understand now. Ah, Fagrafig! It looks kind of like, like... is that is that the name? Ferrigariff. For Ferrigariff. It's kind of like. Gin One second. giraffe rig but like it says here on the website it's a new thing don't even worry about it my dude my stomach hurts I hope the paramedics get here soon right 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 yeah no it, it like like this generation they're making so many Pokemon that could easily be incorporated into an existing ones you know line or make it a variant but they're they're just they're just going off on their own thing over and over again. It's crazy. It's wild. 
Am I losing it? No, 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 look, look, it says, it says, it says right here. It says right here, it says right here. It says right here on the screen. I would never lie to you guys. It looks kind of like giraffe rig, but haha, totes, it's a new thing. Don't even worry about it, my dude. My stomach hurts. I hope the paramedics get here soon. It's totally separate. It's totally separate. The internet would never lie to me. <laughs> and I would never lie to you. Did I just... <laughs> How could I do- No, 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 every, everything that's on a website is set in stone. There is no way ever, 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 ever to change anything. Trust me. Don't even worry about it. What the fuck? Go look at the way- <laughs> Don't- no, It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna get in trouble. I'm just, I'm just, um, this is, this is just how it is. This is just how it is. Oh, I'm starting to feel bad now. I'm, <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little bad. <laughs> Fine princes, I miss my family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you scroll down, you'll see it. Look up Alolan Doug Trio. I remember loving the regional variants in Alola when they came out. But I'm still trying to... F Pokemon. This looks like if somebody, for whatever reason, was interested in depicting the mating relationships between different Pokemon and decided to do a extended fan fiction where Ninetales and Jigglypuff got it on in the most nasty of ways. And then they... They got like a fake Mon generator. And they put them together and then... Because they don't actually know how Pokemon works, they called it Scream Tail. <laughs> Can't wait for a Mon <laughs> If I think that's bad, just wait until you see the Chrome Mons. There's, there's a lot of Pokemon that I struggle with now that I can't really... Fluttermane, Slitherwing, Sit... <laughs> Great Tusk! <laughs> okay, so the person who's naming them is also in the hospital right now. That's... that's what I'm getting from this. Maybe these were all developed during, like, COVID. Right at the start. Like... Uh... <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of uh, Pokémon uh, features and concepts that they started adding in in later generations where I was like, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really like that. It kind of... It, it feels a bit too Digimon for me. So... <laughs> it's just exciting every single time they do it again and I'm like, WHAT THE FUCK IS THIS?!
What the fuck? Oh, it's a new gimmick for the new generation, right? Got it. Okay, so uh, this time uh, we're not talking about Pokemon from parallel realities that look like um, creatures on a knockoff pirated version of Telefang that you would find at like the bargain bin in a in a strange little dark store somewhere. Now we're now we're combining Pokemon together and calling them like Big Man. <laughs> you should see the new Raikou and Seekin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Walking way <laughs> wait. That looks, that looks kind of like a, like a, like a Ghibli, uh, not a, yeah, like, like something from, like, Princess Mononoke. I'm, try I'm, I'm trying to be, like, really diplomatic with Pokemon, because I know, like, a lot of people are like, yeah, it's cool, I like it still. Where's the hairy ditto? All I want to see is the hairy ditto. I just, I just came here for the hairy ditto. Ancient relative, yeah, no, totally. Yeah. <laughs> He's beautiful. He's beautiful. I can't, I, I can't criticize that. I can criticize the concept around him, but I won't. <laughs> I think I scrolled right past it, in that case. I thought I was looking for a little purple hairy thing. Was that not the case? Also, I love how they like, they took Dunsparce and they were like, okay, but add, add another thing onto it. Okay, but add another thing onto it. Everybody's favorite Pokemon, Dunsparce. That's the thing, though. It's like, no matter how, like, unknown a Pokemon can be, if you do a new version of it, there's gonna be at least three people in the world who are going to get, like, unreasonably happy because it was their favorite. You actually fucked up and thought we were talking about Diglett? <laughs> we finished with Diglett so long ago. We're so past it, Diglett. Also, Lil Perry, welcome in. Welcome to Goofy Loses Their Fucking Mind. There is no ditto. But... Okay, I can't comprehend that. I... 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 <laughs> so... This was... This was... This is- this is what you were talking about. <laughs> alright, 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 that makes sense. Okay, I got it. Okay, my brain has been stabilized. It's been centered. I understand where we are now. You can't wait for Pikachu Chu? I love- I love- I love Pikachu and Pikachu Chu and Raichu and... I think we are in la in time for another Pika- Pika person instead of like, really? Off-brand Pikachu number two. Thousand and sixty-one because oh my god, there's so many up there's <laughs> I guess like now when they remake the same Pokemon but slightly different, it's like it's tradition and it's a throwback. So people can't I mean I'm sure people complain. I'm sure people still complain. What else? <laughs> I can't believe I was gonna say, I'm sure people don't complain anymore about it. Like, back in the day, people were like, Oh, it's another normal bird type. Oh, it's another normal bird type. But now, when people get their normal bird types, they're like, Thank you, Master. We're all conditioned, right? Oh, Squawkabilly, thank you, Master. I can't wait for the next generation. Meltan. Meltan. I love Meltan. I love Meltan. Meltan's cute as fuck. 
I know there's there's like a there's a division. There's there's so many divisions in the Pokemon design war, <laughs> ongoing international conflict about like having Pokemon with uh, non-natural elements to them. I don't I I don't know how big that camp still is now, because like. There, there are Pokemon that only exist temporarily for short periods of time, uh, only through interacting with trainers and human developed technology. So I feel like the idea that Pokemon have to be like all natural has has definitely lost every single foot in the race. You know, <laughs> but like, like people used to complain about like. The, the the chandelier Pokemon and and Trubbish. I see that's why I couldn't fall in with that camp because I fucking love Trubbish. Anybody who doesn't like Clink, anybody who doesn't like Trubbish, anybody who doesn't like the ice cream Pokemon, whatever side they're on, I instinctively understand that it's the wrong side. <laughs> and if you are on it, you should leave. You wish normal bird types were as good as Pidgeotto. Pidgey is so... I think that that really annoyed me when I used to play Pokemon. I was like, it's so basic, but why is it so good? Why does it keep having a spot on my team? I keep catching new Pokemon and being like, finally, my basic bitch bird can be removed, but it, it just kept earning its spot back on the squad. And that made me, like, deeply resent it. <laughs> We're in a day and age where we can download and exchange information all from home, but you still got- You seriously still have to go to GameStop for the codes for Pokemon. I- You are not having a little hee-hee. That is not like some- some- some Pokemon community meme. Wow. That- That's an abuse of power. <laughs> When I was grow when I was growing up, when I was little gum, there weren't any GameStops where I was. I had no way to access a GameStop, so I could never get any of the cool, fun, limited edition releases because they just didn't happen where I lived. Nice to know that anybody who's living here now is stuck in the exact. Well, maybe maybe they've started to do stuff in Canada now, but not when I was young. We get a Toys R Us for Pokemon, Woo. Melton is also weird as the only Pokemon to be introduced in Pokemon Go and doesn't properly fit into any region. Ooh, well, I mean, okay. You say that, but there are interdimensional Pokemon and I know they were technically introduced in Sun and Moon. Uh, 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 uh. Kink and shame. I don't. I don't. I don't remember. I don't remember what what generation they're from. But like technically, these mother, <laughs> these motherfuckers, <laughs> these <laughs> these critters, these these things don't come from a region on the planet. Yeah, look at this, and my my brain just will not will not accept this as a Pokemon. I can stare at it for eight hours, and I'll leave, and I'll be like, "What are you talking about, sexy bug model Pokemon? That doesn't exist. It can't hurt me." It's isn't it one of the Ultra Beasts? Yeah, but it's 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 from another dimension. It. It's, it's not naturally occurring in the region. They're not Pokemon, they're all- it, No? Uh, it, genetically, that's not a Pokemon? And what the fuck is it? <laughs> uh, in my brain! In my brain! If it fits, it's a poke. Exactly! Exactly! That's what Game Freak said. It's not a. I'm gonna add that onto my list of grudges for Game Freak. I'm 
I'm on page like nine now. Uh, those those wonderful people playing fast and loose with my childhood. Game Freak is just a group hallucination. But then how come they can hurt us? Huh? Huh? Imagine having a franchise called Pokemon called Pokemon based around catching Pokemon and raising Pokemon in Pokemon battles on planet Pokemon and then being like, oh yeah, and there's also these other things. They're called Ultra, ultra Beasts. They're not Pokemon. Even though they also fall under every single etymo etymological classification that a Pokemon does include uh, having uh, move types and uh, strengths and weaknesses according to different uh, type types and leveling up and um, gaining experience by uh, throat punching each other and uh, you can put them in Pokeballs too which is funny because Pokeballs were designed for you know Pokemon <laughs> but they're not they're not they're not they're not we hear us by making empty $60 games and then charging us $40 for DLC. Joke's on you! I don't give them any money anymore! <laughs> I'm free! I'm free! And if I got out, so can you. You can- you put them into ultra- <laughs> Put Pokemon Go in Ultra Balls! Oh, are they- are they- are they- are they different Ultra Balls? Is it like, there's Ultra Ball Pokemon variant, and there's Ultra Ball Alien Freak variant. Is that, is that, is that what's going, okay, Beast <laughs> I don't like that. That sounds like something you'd find as like a classification on Fur Affinity. I really don't like it. It doesn't make me comfortable. I'm not okay with it. Good thing they aren't Pokemon, though. <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> that would be weird to have Pokemon in, 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 in the Pokemon game. That would be strange. That would be a little funky. Also, it's nice to know that, like, whatever alien creatures come through to this world, the humans of planet Pokemon are gonna look at it and go, but can we capture it? and store it in an orb and fight with it. That's the reaction to everything. You can catch Pokemon in beast balls, but it's a harder catch. Yeah, you know, cause they're, cause they're completely different species. So it, it, it's, it's a bit of a stretch to fit the Pokemon in the beast balls. These balls are scary, but don't forget the creature's name. Gu I love Gulpin. I love Gulpin. Gulpin's my friend. I know Gulpin in real life. No, not you. No, not you. Yes. Yes. And like, Gulpin's my friend, but Swalot's my bestie for life. Like, I, I, I could never, I could never criticize Ignore if I just did. Uh, I could never s criticize Game Freak the, the <laughs> for making knockoffs of existing Pokemon because Swalot and Muck are like hand in hand in my top tier. And if I lost Swalot because it was too close to Muck, I don't know how I could live. I seen Pal World since we're on the subject of Pokemon. We are, aren't we? <laughs> when the fuck did that happen? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's it's a uh, definitely not Pokemon. I've I've seen and I've played. Um... Uh, what the fuck's it called? Uh. <laughs> Definitely not Pokemon other variant. It's an MMO. 
It's an absolutely not Pokemon. What's that MMO? Where you go around and fight with your little animal friends and each city has a building that you can go into and fight with little animal friends. And also there is a team of um, criminals who are attempting to cause problems in this world through fighting with their little animals. Although, because it's an indie game, it goes off the fucking rail and you get, like, captured and thrown in a cell and they're, like, paramilitary New World Order uh, to the point where, like, somebody gets killed. <laughs> indie games are always a little crazy. Yeah, it was just, just slightly one, one wheel off the rail. Final Fantasy. <laughs> Is there a Final Fantasy Pokemon clone? I'd play that. It's not Pokemon with guns and slavery and lots of weird things. Yep, 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 yep. It's kind of the same as, as Stardew Valley, where it's like, it's, it's, um, it's Harvest Moon, but there was a war and somebody's a paraplegic from it and has, like, PTSD. <laughs> and it's like, uh, what? Okay. That's a little bit of a tonal shift. Uh, I guess I'll just grow my fruits now. Temtem. Temtem. Temtem's the one I've played. It's... It's okay. If you really, really like the genre, and if you like competitive battles, it's probably a great, great game that you can sink, like, your life into. For me, a lot, like, a, a, a pretty major part of, of Pokemon is collecting for the aesthetics. And I can't say Temtem Tem hits me in the same way. There are some that I like, but most of them I'm like, oh, I guess I'll put you on my team. Fine. And, um... I think... There was, like, I was... I think it was, like, really grindy if you want to get anything, and, like... It's an MMO, so it comes with those trappings, and it's focused very heavily on the PvP crowd. So it's it's really built for that, and all the battles are like double battles and stuff. The combat was fine, but I think I think it was like I remember being annoyed with the combat in some places. I don't remember why. <laughs> That's the problem. I'm like, what what was it that I didn't like? What was it? I don't remember. Dragon Quest monsters. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is this is just Telefang. This is just Telefang. Telefang already did the guns thing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've, I've already played this. Telefang series is great. They're wonderful. That's the very first game I ever played uh, as a streamer was uh, Telfang, I think it was Speed version. Because when I, when I was a little baby, I got quote unquote Pokemon Diamond as a ROM. This, this is, this is what I got. This, oh my god, the, the image quality is so bad. The image quality is so bad. I had this. I had this on a floppy disk. I had a floppy disk with this ROM on it. And it was, in fact, not Pokemon. It was Telefang. And the translation, it's like, they translated it from like Japanese to, uh, it was another language. And then they took that and then they translated that to English. So the writing is, you have to make up your own story. You have to figure out what's going on based off of context clues. And you use uh, various things to level up your telephone, including gun and phone and microwave and um, car. It's a great game. I'm still waiting for the community translated versions of the next generations. 
It's taken a really long time, like 10 years, <laughs> but I'm waiting. I'm, I'm sitting and I am full of hope that one day we're gonna get like a fully translated next generation telefan game. I really want, the day that those come out, if it's on a weekend, that is what we are gonna be streaming. Yeah, 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 it was one of the bootlegs. It was one of the bootlegs and I understand my taste in Pokemon. Yep, it's, well, I think, I think as a kid, the exploration felt like really impressive. And I really liked going through different areas that looked really cool. I remember Pokemon, was it blue and, was it, was it Sapphire? I think it was Sapphire and Emeralds where it's like you get out of this forest and there's like puddles, no, it's, it's, been, it's been raining and you get out of the rain and there's like puddles on the ground. And as you walk by the puddles, you can see like the clouds overhead reflected in them. And just like that, that the, the vibe that that brought, the, the, the experience of that, ex of exploring like that. Those, that and the aesthetics of the Pokemon are what I was there for. That was, that was why I played those games. And the Pokemon games now, I look at the graphics and I'm like, no. <laughs> you have not kept up with my imagination. <laughs> What's your makeup Telefang? Oh, I love that so much. And see, that's why I like Telefang. It's like the exploration. It just, it feels so crazy. But I, after playing through it, 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 it was, it's the first, the first game, the first telephone game. Don't play it. Don't play it. Just, just watch somebody else play it if you, if you want to know what it's about. Don't watch me play it though. I was, <laughs> my microphone was not good. <laughs> As we previously established. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to, I want to see where they took it. I want to see what it grew into. <gasps> oh, somebody drew the fake mon that they put on the cover of Telefang. Oh, that's, I don't think this creature even exists inside the game, but that's so cool. That's so cool. Take your childhood weirdness and just live with it. <gasps> watch this one. I will watch this one. Don't worry, green. Ignore the auto mod. The auto mod can't hurt you. I'll protect you from the auto mod. Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald were great. They were, they were. They had, they had a feeling of exploring a very lush world. I kind of want to go back and play one on stream and then I'll, I'll put it in a Pokemon category and so a lot of current diehard fans will come in and I'll be like, ah, it's not as good as I remembered. Oh, well, pity. Uh, well, I don't play Pokemon anymore because I don't like where it's gone and then everybody's gonna be mad at me. <laughs> So, that's what's holding me off from doing it. That's really it. That's really it. Okay. Let's, uh, pause. Pause this and check out. No, 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 no. How, how could you? How could you? How could you? Never. No, don't watch that one. No, no. Shh, 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 Bad microphone. Don't watch it. <laughs> no. No. Let my old videos die in peace. They... They're too beautiful to live. Yeah, if I, if I could play the old Pokemons and be sure that I'm not gonna get any people in chat who are like... Uh, thinking that I... <laughs> I'm here to attack Pokemon, which I'm not. I love it. It was a huge part of my life. And, uh, you know, I <laughs> just because I don't want to play it anymore doesn't mean I don't like the old experiences and memories that it left me with, you know? If I could, if I could guarantee, like, a <laughs> Pokemon safe space, <laughs> I'd definitely play it. I definitely would. Model is still so fucking cute. Thank you. Thank you. I made that model in a haze and a fugue state when I was incredibly sick. I got really, really sick. I think I had COVID. <laughs> and then when I got better, it was there and it was waiting for me. 
Jade version uses the forest sprite from Princess Monoki. You bet it does. You bet it does. Where's the wiki page? That's very zoomed in, huh? Can I not see it there? Is it not here? Okay, it's right here. It's right here. Here you go. <laughs> Here's perfectly legitimate Pokemon video game. Jade version. Gold silver. Imagine having this as a kid and telling all your friends, I've got Jade Edition, I've got Pokemon Jade Edition, and they're like, that that doesn't exist. Pokemon Jade doesn't exist, there's just uh, red and blue and gold and silver, what are you talking about? And you're like, no, 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 guys, I'm not kidding. I have Jade Edition and nobody believes you. That must have been devastating. If I want a good monster game, I could try the Dragon Quest monster games. I almost feel like with Dragon Quest, it's like, no, I gotta start with Dragon Quest 1, and then Dragon Quest 2, and then Dragon Quest 3, and then Dragon Quest 4. <laughs> I can't- I can't just start at Dragon Quest Monsters! How will I know the deep Dragon- how will I not know the- how will I know? How will I not know? Yeah, how will I know the deep Dragon Quest lore if I don't play all the da Dragon Quest games? But I also know that that's just brain rot, and that's not how the series works. And I shouldn't live like that. Nobody should live like that. Honestly, I, I keep trying to play uh, Pokemon... The ones where they talk. Pokemon... Dank Dungeon Squad? I... I... Whatever they're called. The, the ones that are like the, the dungeon crawlers where you are the Pokemon team. Pokemon Rescue Team! Pokemon Rescue Team! There we go! Wait, no, that's not it. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. You're right. I thought I got it. But... Because I really like those ones. And when I play them, I'm like, I love these Pokemon. I love how they can talk. I love their little adventures that they're going on. I love their little fucking Pokemon towns. This is amazing. This is scratching every single itch, and then uh, I I'll just like put it down and be like, okay, I gotta go to I gotta go to bed. I gotta do something else. I'll have every single intention of picking them up again, and then I I just don't. I don't know why. When you were a kid, you foolishly asked your parents for a copy of Diamond Version, and the game didn't even. Oh oh ah! Oh, I bought somebody uh, a copy of Pokemon something rather off of eBay once, because that was before you could buy video games on Amazon. I was just like, okay, so there's no- there's no game stores near where I live, so I'll just- I'll just buy it off of eBay. I'll make sure the price is good, uh, I'll- I'll spend the required money so that somebody who lives near a game store can ship it to me. And I gave it to this person for their birthday, and guess what? It was a ripoff copy that worked perfectly fine until you went into the Elite Forest building and then the game crashed and you couldn't get through. I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. They played through the entire game and then it crashed at the end. First two games were Red te Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team. Okay, okay. I wasn't fully pulling those words out of my ass. Alright, good, 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 good. Nice to know, <laughs> nice to know they came from somewhere. Elite Four told them to fuck no get out. Yep. Yep. Like, if you put the game in and it doesn't work, okay. You, <laughs> there's the angle. Angle. Triangulis. Hypotenuse. Anger. Depression. Bargaining cycle. All that stuff. But at least you haven't just, like, sunk hours into actually completing the game before you realize that you can't progress to the end. Right. Uh, oh shit, we really went in on that Pokemon. We're almost at four hours. Well, ugh. I think, I think it's time for me to go. Oh, before, oh wait, wait, no, no, I'm not, I'm not done on my tangent. I'm not done on my tangent. I think I mentioned this once before. 
Uh, it's another game in the totally, 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 absolutely not Pokemon. What's Pokemon? Haha! <laughs> I've never seen one before in my life genre. But it's also a Metroid? Metroidvania? Yeah, I think that's the genre. A Metroidvania game. And I'm trying to find it in my list of video games. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not seeing it. Come on! Monster Sanctuary, there we go. And I think this game is pretty fun. Just, uh, stop playing in the final dungeon. <laughs> because there's a boss I can't beat there and it made me... So bitter. So bitter, but every single other part of this game... It's fun. I enjoy it. I give it my stamp of approval, and I don't even like a lot of the monster designs. And it does that weird thing that a lot of, that like you see this happening, where it's like there are some monsters that are uncannily humanoid, and you're like, but why is a goblin a monster when it can speak English and form societies and bi build buildings? Why are we placing it in the same rank as, like, the the eyeball with the stinger that lives on a cliff and eats raw meat? But apart from that, you know, if you can kind of... If you, if you can kind of detach from the world and not worry too much about the, the weird inconsistent scenes of reality, which... I can, I can do it if the game's good enough. I can do it if the game's good enough. It's got a very fun combat and exploration system. Mm -hmm -hmm. Goofy stamp of approval with like three asterisks at the end. Also, there's... There's Thanatos. Thanatos is in the game. And it's an undead clown reaper. This is this is in the this is in the final dungeon, so if you see this, you've progressed too far. Stop at this point. I feel like you could say that about real life as well. If you see this, uh you you've progressed so far. Stop and go back. Don't don't try and advance any further. In-game and real life advice. <laughs> yeah. You can get down with most monster collecting RPGs. Yeah, yeah, it's it's enjoyable. It's fun. I like the combat. I like the combat a lot. It's tactical. It's fun. It made me actually consider using status effects. It's very easy to tweak and rebuild and adjust your teams as you get new ideas. That's one thing I hate about a lot of like Pokemon-esque games. It's like if you want to swap out a party member, you're, there's going to be a lot of a lot of miserable grinding, and it's a huge pain to readjust them, and it, it stinks and it's really annoying. In this, there's not, and there's like skill trees where you could put points in to make them better at certain builds and stuff. Like each each different not Pokemon has different uh, uh, builds that they can take, so they can have uh, different not Pokemon not roles in the not video game. Mm -hmm. Thanks for the stream, Goofy. Thanks for coming by, as always. I hope you had a good time. Hope you hope you enjoyed the- Aw, the little men are gone now. Wait. Hold. Hold. Uh. 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 Gotta have the little guys dancing. Gotta have the little guys dancing. Hope you enjoyed the art. And then the... <laughs> the Pokemon pit. How do I always end up back there? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because it's one of the most well-known top-selling video game franchises of all time. Yeah, that might be it. That, that might be it. <laughs> Gonna miss you, but I hope you a great vacation. Aw, thank you. Well, I will... I'll still be posting art. So, you know, you'll, you'll, you might remember that I still exist. 
Brain challenge. Extreme mode. Remember Goofy Honko is a sentient creature that breathes and draws and does things. For like a whole bunch of weeks. Any last minute raid message? Yes. <laughs> Wait, I think I shut the tab. Fuck. Oh, where's- no, oh, I lost- I lost my- my, uh... Not a grappa rig evolution message. Oh well. How about- how about- How about Honk always exists? How about that? <laughs> it's factual. It's important to remember. Yeah, yeah, now I actually have to figure out who we're gonna raid. <laughs> now for the difficult part. Mm. What we thinking? Who we feeling? Are there any suggestions? I don't see an immediate drop, uh, uh drop by drop, I mean an immediate person that I can drop you into where the the uh, topic will be a seamless transition. Nobody's playing Pokemon. Maybe Pumpino? Perhaps Pumpino? What's Pumpino up to? Toontown? Heck, why not? Sure. Sure. You should think I should raid Hon Honk has to pass the fuck out. Honk can't stream anymore. It's the end of Honk. And it's the beginning of Pumpino. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do that. Actually, they just they just went to an error message. Are this are this okay? No, they're 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 having a break. They're having a break. It's okay. We can we can sneak in under the radar during the break. How does that sound? We'll be so stealthy. You guys can't use a raid message now. We can't say anything. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. As always, I am physically incapable of being serious. I hope you guys had a good day. I hope you guys will have a good day tomorrow. I hope everything will consider to continue to be just fine. I hope nothing will catch on fire. And I hope you have a great time until I see you next time, which is gonna be a time in the future that I'll definitely put up on Twitch and twi twi Twitter and Discord. Yeah. I won't forget. No, 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 never. Anyway, goodbye. And I'll see you in like eight years. <laughs>